And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. How do you gotta do it, Flav? Just like that, it is the bonfire. We are live on a Wednesday. Bah humbug, Dan Soder. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of human human uh, bodies clogging up Sixth Avenue where we have to come to work, and it's uh, Times Square is usually bad enough. If I ever I have to come through Times Square if I'm coming from Queens. Yeah, but holy shit, it's terrible outside. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM ninety five. That too. I mean, yeah, dude, I'm over it. I know um, it's really it's, it's a grading on me. I, well, it's, I, I, want, I, want, I want to be in. I'm stopping myself trying to be an adult from getting in three physical confrontations. I watched one of them over just here. now. We were walking. You watched it. one. Me and Christine on the way over. There was, you know, I'm. I want to get here fast. I'm trying to walk fast. Unfortunately, the things clogged up. There's a guy behind me with his wife, and it's always like these like fucking rich queef dudes. But it's like got his arm like out, extended his forearm like into my back. Don't like, worry, Rebecca. I'll protect you. I'm like, is you. this happening? Is this? Ha- it's like my feet are just missing the feet of the person in front of me. Yeah. I don't want to be in this jam anymore with anybody else. And then at one point he like, it almost like he was like trying to get around me, but like it, whether you couldn't do that possibly. And then eventually he stopped, and I actually walked back five steps and shoved him. There you go. And he just looked better. Like, uh? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's. Um, I'm so. F- I mean, what the fuck? Well, when you watch it on TV and you watch like the lighting at Rockefeller Center and all that stuff, it looks fun. No, because you're sitting in the in your you're in your living room. It's a fucking tree. If you travel, if you think it's a big deal to come see lights in a fucking tree and an outdoor skating rink and a store that sells only M and M's and that blows your fucking mind, I think kill it's, yourself. You know what? I hate to play devil's advocate, but I'm blown away by all three of those things. Damn, a score just on M and M's. Just on M and M's. How much faith in a product do you have? Not even Hershey's. Not Hershey's. That's down the street. You got to walk down the street to get the Reese's Pieces. M and M's. I think they're different companies. Who, Who would cares? have knowledge of that on the staff? Merc face. Lou. Lou. Lou's you're... all dappered up. I know. Lou's... Stand up, Lou. Lou's dressed Model for a fucking for Saturday night Jersey house party. Oh, uh, dude, he's got the band shirt under the nice button down. And it's it's uh, Sirius Satellite Radio's Christmas party tonight, right, guys? Uh-huh. All right, Andy, are you going to drink? Yeah. Are you going to get hammered? Yeah. I miss... That's the one thing I miss the most about... One of the most... Th- uh, this is Christmas parties. Drinking. Quitting drinking. Oh, are all, th- all three of, of you guys are single ready to mingle, yeah? Yep. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to be crushing ass tonight. I can't wait. I are, you guys gonna do the, are you guys going to do the flying V like Mighty Ducks? And Jacob's going to lead. And it's going to be flanked by Lou and Andy. <laughs> this is my main man, Andy. And that's my bad boy, Lou. <laughs> we got three dicks. Your choice. It's like three dick Monty. Just call him shitty names. Like, this is Shark Dick and Trunk Nuts. Yeah. Anyway. And right here, we're the trio. Hey, bitches. What's up, bitches? Bonfire's here. Oh, man. Can you guys please all do MDA, uh, MDMA or something? I would love to see the three of you as, yeah. a, can you as just a hit cr- squad. Just snort Molly tonight. I mean, I have to go do shows, but that sounds like it'd be so much fun. We can't be here, but can you guys snort Molly for us, please? <laughs> yeah. But I want you to record it and show it to us. <laughs> can you please? Can you please? But I'm, I'm saying the reason is like people traveling here, because growing up, you're always like, oh, Macy's Day. My mom's always like, I want to go to the Macy's Day Parade. I'm like, and living in New York, you're like, you know how shitty that's Your gonna mom be. is Denver garbage. Hey! It's the hey! truth. I'm sorry you didn't hear me Fresno say it. Fresno garbage. Sorry. My sincere apologies. That is, I, better, that is better garbage. I am Aurora garbage. <laughs> I need you to know what Look, is we're what. all garbage, but I mean, I don't understand what like how mesmerized people are by a fucking tree and lights. It's like all right, the fact that that is your trip is to come out here. Did you have holiday lights to pay tons of money to shop and fucking? It's just the lamest fucking thing, man. Did you have holiday lights growing up, like Christmas tr- Christmas lights? Sure. Is that is that a word? Yeah. Is that a yes. Yeah. Okay, so you just don't. You're just like over it. I'm, what do you mean? Did I have Christmas lights? What do you, I don't know. Some people like that shit because they're like into Christmas lights. I've noticed people who like. There's they're certain blinky people lights. That like, yeah, there's certain people who like to go w- look at Christmas lights. Like it's oh, like a thing. I never did that. I mean, I think I, I think I got sucker. I think I got bullied into it twice by my mom and my stepdad. Oh sure, I've done things like that with adults when I was a kid that couldn't make the decision on my own. Yeah, but now that you're an adult, fucks. I just wonder, like, um, by the way. Who's into it? Because obviously I'm not, I'm not, there's a lot of people I'm not into an it. animal. It, it happens to be here. So I saw, I've been in New York for 16 years now. I, tonight, circumstantially, 
saw the tree for the first time. Yeah, out of 16 years. 16 years. Yeah, and that's like breakup. That's like when you avoid your ex after a breakup. You're like, I just can't see it. I and just like, never I bumped think... into I bumped into the Rockefeller tree tonight. It looked great. I've been asked by several... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Rockefeller tree. How have you been? I've noticed you've added more lights since... Mm, oh, good. Years. I saw your Facebook post. You're seeing someone. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I heard that's it's complicated. Good. Um, Dale, Missouri wants to know Eminem is Mars, Hershey is Hershey. That's thank you, Dale. Uh, you know what's great though? I bet there's a person in this world that that my lack of knowledge on that burns them up. I, I'm, I, that is news to me. <laughs> right? that's, actually, that's actually interesting news because uh, what the fuck? It's Mars. I, I no, forgot that Mars shit. is Mars. I would have guessed that to be the company because Mars, Mars Bar is not very popular. Although in Canada, kicking ass. Is it really? It's the thing. I love a Mars bar. I like a Take Five, though. I have real stepdad candy tastes. Me and Sal Volcano said this. Take Five, number one candy bar of all time, and it's newish. And... Are you mean that, or are you just making me feel better? It's absolute... Christine, best candy bar of all time. The Take Five. Yeah. It's, it's a no-brainer. There's a reason we do the show together. Absolutely. Well, Why, the, that wasn't shtick. That wasn't... No, we didn't know. This I just same found exact, out. The same exact... This might blow your mind, too. And be honest with me here. And, huh? and this is probably where I will lose you, but... Yeah, sure. But this blue. But guess what? If you don't let me go, I can never come back, and then I'll never truly be this, yours. This blue cell volcano's mind right. when I said this because I go, it's followed only by the take five, followed only by the most underrated candy bar of all time, the whatchamacallit. Did you just bring up my favorite childhood candy? Is bar? it really? Let me tell you something about Dan Soder. Mm -hmm. I run on three things: chewy runts. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet mint gum, okay, and whatchamacallits. Yeah, I went. To, I, I'm not. I'm going to be completely honest. It varied between whatchamacallits and Three Musketeers, but a fresh Three Musketeers. Those are the only candy bars I know that can go bad, and when they go bad, oh, it turns. It's like it's like fucking nougat dust. In the middle. <laughs> yeah, but a whatchamacallits a great. In fact, the only time I've ever been to Fresno, my only memory when I was six years old was we, we went to a grocery store and I bought a bunch of whatchamacallits. My grandfather thought I was weird. One day, and one day, one time I stole, kept stealing change from my grandmother to go keep back and buying Nestle Crunch Bars. We have a lot of connection with this candy bar in our... <laughs> no, the Nestle Crunch Bar I bought because okay. inside the wrapper, it was like two pictures and if you got two things that lined up to create a picture like you could have as many rappers as you want yeah and one of them was like the front of a car and you kept it's like it's like getting uh park place or not park yeah it's yeah. Like, so you're getting park place monopoly you, you never, you, get, you board never get boardwalk uh, in, in the mcdonald's game i'm talking about same kind of thing like it, you, the front of the car was very common you never got the back of the car. Son of a bitch. and i tried 20 candy bars How, to figure you had 20 out. candy bars i gained all my weight just that one session. Yeah. Uh, Lance in Houston, um, uh, at once, I think he's challenging the whatchamacallit? No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. Thank you. By the way, Lance, thank you for opening the phone call with your hand out like yeah, you're no, approaching no, no, a dog. No, 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 no. Hey, guy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud. Hand out emoji. Yeah. So, yeah, as soon as I heard you say followed only by, you know that nervous anticipation where I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And you said whatchamacallit, Jay? Mm -hmm. I almost shit myself because that was exactly what I was thinking of and what I was hoping you would say. Yeah. And then if you tell me you like to microwave it for about 10 to 15 seconds before eating it also. Never even thought of that, but I will absolutely you, give that a whirl. Lance, do you also eat it while wearing a robe? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's I mean, a very I sensual... I have a robe present. I like to light a vanilla candle. Yeah. Microwave or whatchamacallit. I have a half a bottle of uh, of Cabernet, and I just lay on the couch. Does that make it way better? Um, Lance, are we there? The microwave? Oh, with, yeah. I mean, without question. Really? I've never even thought of doing that. Oh, my gosh. It's like Rice Krispies with chocolate syrup poured out, a warm chocolate syrup poured, poured all over it. Oh, mm. that sounds... Why did my dick just move? That sounds so good. Of, you course, of course we're best friends. Oh, yeah. my God. Can you... Ask your mom if you can sleep over. Oh my god! Um, why can't why can't I, why can't a, a microwave watch call bar answer your Bumble ads? <laughs> yeah, I learned this year from the ex girlfriend. For, if, at the beginning of the year, I learned something new in 2016. I learned Sour Patch Kids in popcorn. Really? It Merkface is looking at me. 100%. Now, 100%. I, now I'm I'm all about 
uh, get a box of raisinets, dump them into the popcorn. Try sweet and sour. The, yeah, the uh, Sour Patch Kids. Because really? what happens is you get you got to know they're in there. Louis, and Louis J. Gomez and I were at a rival. And oh, I, if you got a raisinette in the popcorn, you know was in there, you'd freak out. There's a bug. There's a bug. There's a bug in it. There's a bug in my shit. Louis goes, "Hey, you got to warn me when that's going to happen because it's super sour out of nowhere." <laughs> <laughs> he just chews it. It's gooey and sour, and he's like, "Oh, what the fuck happened?" This you got to have a real sensitive palate to think Sour Patch Kids are really sour. They're well, Maybe sort of I, sour at best. Maybe I am sensitive. You ever had like one of those ultra sour candies where it makes your fucking cheeks hurt? Yeah, those are those are those, those are middle school sleepovers where you're just challenging your. It's drugs with candy. You're just doing the harder candy. You want to just want like whoever was at the top who's like, yeah, I could eat f- like I'll eat a whole box of uh fuck or what was the fireballs the mouth yeah. things. The, What's that? We did this show. Yeah. Remember, we got all the candy. We got all the candy sent. I want to do it again. <laughs> Can we have them? Maybe I Maybe I found out if we ask for candy. I think I can. told you. If, if Ari Shafir, uh, Ari Shafir, if you go to his house at any given time, he's got childhood candy still there. So he has warheads all over the table. Oh, I love warheads. Fruit by the Foot was really kind of... Fruit by the Foot and Gushers to me. Jay just had Big League Chew up in the office. I had Big League Chew. That was Dan. I gave it to chew, people. Yeah. I don't bring but Big you, League Chew around. Hey. What? Respect the Chew. I respect it. I just don't bring it around. I got it as a gift on Bobby Kelly's podcast. I figured. Yeah, I didn't assume you went out looking for big league shit. <laughs> That's my right. point. Becky on the couch. I'll be like, right back. I'm going to go on some hunt for some shoe. <laughs> Let's... No, some... I want some grape. Some jaw. Oh, Don in Virginia. He just had to watch him a call the other day. Was it magical? Yeah. Hey, again. Hey guys. Hey, Don. hey Don. I like that we're single handedly saving the Whatchamacallit fortune. It does not come up enough. <laughs> I am Ronald Whatchamacallit, and my family has gone poor. I'd like to mention that every time he writes it in the thing, a Merc face spells Whatchamacallit different. <laughs> every single time. Don, did you just have it just. For fun, or was it on go- normal? Would you fucking microwave it and fuck it like our like other Lance, like Lance, Lance, who's just no, central? I shoved it down my mouth. <laughs> just jammed it in there. Exactly. <laughs> That's fuck. Was it awesome? It was awesome. It's spelled W A T C H M A Y. Like don't yeah what don't do call it yeah don't take your headphones off, Andy. <laughs> you gotta learn how to spell it. Uh, I'm happy with my spelling. Yeah, Merc Face did watch yam <laughs> or call it. That's what ya. Ma, I just, call it. Call it. I just spelled it on Twitter. I don't know if you saw it, but I just spelled it. I don't know how I spelled it. Well, I, I don't want to get into a big candy spell off here. Right? I think we absolutely we should. should have a candy spell off. And I spell, think- spell Twizzlers, Murphy. T W I Z Z L E R S. Good starter. Good. Good. Sweet yeah, yeah. Tart. <laughs> I want you to spell. Star- now do Starburst. Sweet starburst. You can give me something challenging. Come on, starburst isn't hard. We could let me think of one. Hang on, I got something. Mm. Marzipan. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we we're going to desserts. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to desserts now. Oh, that just opens up the whole. I could do it. There's no way you could. You think you could spell every dessert? Marzipan. M a r z i p a n. A bunt cake. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, what's your favorite candy bar? Uh, M and M's. What? I just that doesn't answer the it's question. It's not a candy asked. bar. You just answered a whole different question. I don't fucking weird. You know? said, what's your favorite candy bar? You said chicken parm. <laughs> what's your favorite candy bar? I uh, like mint. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite candy bar? Nah, nah I'm not. I'm not a cinnamon guy. I'm not a bar guy. <laughs> You're not a bar guy at all. How about baby Do you have bar, sex though? with your shirt on? What kind of human are you? <laughs> he does, <laughs> though. He does. You know, if you get laid tonight, that shirt is staying. Like, and then you gonna... keep the PJ shirt on? And then... <laughs> is what's going to get me laid. <laughs> no, not the PJ shirt. He's leaving the PJ shirt and the long sleeve. Oh, no. And then when... Teacher, that's the passing period fuck. And then after they fuck, she's going to put that sh- the button-down shirt on to go outside and smoke with them? Oh, she's going to be like, so how long you lived here? <laughs> Can I see a question? Was Stu watching the whole time, or did he just happen to be outside the door when we left do you always scream out eddie vetta when you come <laughs> do you have a dog why is there hair all over your mattress <laughs> you don't like candy bars lou i don't i'm not really a sweet guy is there m&ms all over my back what is that <laughs> do you sleep do you sleep with m&ms <laughs> do you sleep with m&ms wait he loves them he really does love m&ms yeah peanut m&ms uh yeah peanut m&ms I okay tr- i tried uh do you like the pretzel ones yes i do but I tried the peanut butter ones because Mark Face loves them. Pretty good. Pretty good. Christine, do you go whatchamacallit as well? or It's very new to her. I actually, I haven't had a whatchamacallit in forever. I love the Take 5, but I'm a Kit Kat girl. 
Mm. Kit Kat solid. Kit-Kat. Come on, no one's going to argue a Kit Kat. I mean, it's the ankle gun of can- candy. It really is. It's, it's always, always there. there for you. It's, it's always going to be there for you, no matter what. By the way, it's the four, cracking into the four makes you feel like you get a lot more with Kit Kat. Another sale Kit-Kat. volcano fun fact. Yeah, we're getting a lot of them today. In China. Okay. He just, sent, he just ordered a box of these, he told me. In China, they uh, make several different flavors of Kit Kat. Like crazy ones, though. This one is a disrespect. <laughs> Break it, just like you broke father's heart when you. <laughs> this one is iPod Factory soy sauce flavor Kit Kat. <laughs> it is stuff like that, though. It's oh, it's like, Chinese, not Japanese. I apologize. Chinese. That was culturally insensitive. No, I think it is Japanese, and Sal was wrong because that's what came up when I put. In so my no, you were wrote correct. Japanese. No, I wrote Chinese and then switched to Japanese. Do they have green tea Kit Kat? I bet yes. they do. Nailed it. Let's see what they are. We'll go back to Japanese, Christine. <laughs> if that's the thing. Oh, here are the flavors listed. Oh, yes. Where's that? Green tea, strawberry, cheesecake, red Sak- bean. Sakura. Red bean? Sakura. That's the most Japanese one. Mint, uh, can you get me a Sitka Sakura Kit Kat? <laughs> strawberry cheesecake. Ooh. There's Pink, more. blue. No, no, Pink no. Pink, blue is just what it's called? No, those are other search options <laughs> is what that is. Get a list. See if you can find the Chinese Kit Kat list. Baked potatoes. Baked potato? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. I said it's weird ones. Wait, g- Jacob, where did you find that? Uh, World's Weirdest Kit Kat Bars, CBS News. There you go. World's Weirdest Kit Kat Bars. And they have baked potato? Baked potato, soy sauce. Is this what happens when parfait. You, is this what happens when you blur out all the dicks and porn? You just taste buds <laughs> yeah. go fucking water. Uh, sideways? I some green tea Kit Kat. Uh, I don't like seeing my penis during sex, and I like eating, uh... Sponge flavored Kit Kat. Here you go. Let's look at that. Do so you have a sink of sponge, Kit Kat? Cookies and cream, green Great. tea. Yes. Apple pie. Great. <laughs> Strawberry cheesecake. All Done. these sound fine to me so far. Pumpkin pudding. <laughs> I'm <don't> still. <laughs> Baked sweet potato. Odd. Yeah. Then ba- just apple. Great. I'm on board with it. Purple sweet potato. Oh, you want some of that southern purple sweet potato? Kit-Kat. Rum raisin. <laughs> Great. Wasabi. That's just mean. Red pepper. That's not fun. Citrus? No, oh, no. Sweet bean jelly. Sweet bean jelly sounds like you call a fat D lineman that you played high school football with. And four is raspberry. That's old sweet bean jelly. That guy had three sacks in a game against Central. What is you... <laughs> Oh, sweet bean jelly's at it again, is boy. The... Thomas Jacob, <laughs> sweet bean jelly, you fat S-P-J. son of a bitch. That guy, S-P-J. that guy played at Portland S-P-J. State for a season. Best D-lineman I've ever seen. Got off the ball like Warren Sapp. Sweet corn? No, thank you. Oh, here we go. Apple vinegar. That's blur your penis Sweet corn. Out of- is the one on top actually a pile of shit? <laughs> <laughs> Candy this, sweet potato. Uh, this one is a cut of shit Kit Kat. <laughs> uh, it's slave turd Kit Kat. Uh, Drano flavored. How would you know it tastes like Drano? <laughs> Try yourself. Watermelon and salt Kit Kat. That is disgusting. Potato. <laughs> just potato. Salt, just potato. That's for the Irish people. Salt and caramel. Yeah, I'm fine with salt and caramel. I'm fine. What with that. the fuck is muscat of Alexandria grapes? <laughs> what? What? What is that? What? Dude, Toasted we... soy flour. Oh, can we get some of the? <laughs> can we get some of these? We should get some I'll of these. Them. Sal, how hard are they? Call hard to get, I tell you, uh, Sal ordered. There's like a hundred different kinds. He gets. A, he got a box. We should ask him where he got them from. A box of a hundred different flavors that are coming to him. We absolutely need to do that. And we gotta try it. these because I want to know what these. White taste chocolate are. espresso. Done. Uh, That's I won't great. try that one. I will. The Muscat of Alexandria is a white wine grape. I'd rather do that than fucking anything oh, with that's, coffee flavor. That does sound like the richest form of Kit Kat. <laughs> mm. What is it called? The Muscat of Alexandria? I hope they tell you. Do you have any of those Kit Kats left? The ones that taste like a good white wine? I hope they tell you, Jacob, you can't order that one because it's only for dignitaries. Mm. Sorry, that only goes to uh, countries ruled by monarchies. <laughs> Keep going down. White chocolate espresso, apple, red. Red beak soup. That's a bird. That we kill. <laughs> it's a, and every p- piece of beak in every kid can break me off a piece of beak. Yeah, that is a promise. This is a beak Kit Kat. Caramel macchiato. That sounds exciting for that's people. A, that's like white that. chick shit. Pineapple. I would try. I shall try it all. Chestnut seems weird. Okay. 
Blood Orange. Yeah, okay. I oddly am on board with that one. Cantaloupe. Okay. Oh, man, my mom used to eat cantaloupes, and I fucking hate them. Do you really? My mom, because she would be like, try cantaloupe, it's good for you, and it was just a slimy... It is a boring fruit, but my grandma used to cut a cantaloupe in half. Healthy snack. Cut it open, dig out the... Pit? You got the the, pit, the seeds. Okay, I don't know if it's a pit or There's no pit. I do you think there's a giant pit in a cantaloupe? <laughs> you should probably cantaloupe more than that. I'm not going to lie. 33 years, absolutely thought it was a pit. Just till now. There's no pit. I Damn. like you jumped in with pit, though. We also yeah. we never would have known that. Because I would have been like, you dig out the seeds, you'd have been like, seeds? Yeah. <laughs> Seeds. You would have done that on your own. And I gone like, but then you would have watched me have the realization where I go, it was in a pit this whole time. Um, we don't take the call, but Raul in Texas says, combined Skittles and Chex Mix, you have the best thing ever. Holy I'm that. shit. I didn't even, what, flavor Chex Mix, regular? Uh, Raul, you there? Now we got to take it, Raul. Let's take the call then. I don't know. You might, you might be right. We should I find just, out. This is just something I didn't hey, well, see. Hey, what's hello? up, dude? Hey, hey Raul. Raul. Hey. Yeah, what's up, Soder? It's me, Raul. Oh, what's up, dude? I actually oh. know Raul. Hey. You do know Raul. He's the guy that isn't that the guy that came to beat you up because you were fucking his girlfriend yep. in college. That was it. That's at the bar. Oh, Raul. So you you regular Chex Mix with Skittles, dude, chase just like Trick cereal. Ooh, I like that. Street tricks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're making some hobo tricks. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I know about cooking up some street tricks. <laughs> By the way, all the ingredients equal much more than it cost for a box of tricks. Uh, you're eating fourteen dollar bar bag of tricks. That's to be something. That's you know what you do if you find out shit like that. That's where you become the king of the parent of the, uh, like school fair. Yeah, where you send your kid in with fucking bags of shit, and everyone's kind of like, "What the fuck?" And they're like, "This is actually a fantastic the, idea." Trish the dish is a nanny now, and she drops on her new nanny family. They had a Christmas party or whatever. She dropped the pretzel with a Hershey kiss on top, melted, and then an M M&M and M pushed in, and then you put them in the refrigerator. Blowing minds. What's that called? Kentucky butt fuck. It's called a. It's called a. Uh, it's called a Gary ass to mouth. Okay. She named it after my cool. dead father. I'm name. I'm making a rapper right now for yeah. it. So <laughs> Gary uh, the ass ATM mouth. Yeah, um, but she it like blows everyone's minds. Kyle, New Jersey says he had green tea Kit Kats. They are amazing. Kyle, I, I I did say that, but I'm really down for the sweet corn. What are you? Try that one out. You want to try that, or you did try that? No, I, I would try the sweet corn. I'd pop that sucker right in there. I mean, I think we're going to have to do this 100 flavor thing. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to try, because I want to try one of, like, what, there's more of them. Oh, yeah. There's a black sugar. That, that's that mean? A, that's someone's name. Yeah. It's just this cool black yeah, dude walks in. No, I, I feel like a black hooker who's just, like, shitting them out for you. <laughs> yeah. He goes, are you done? Are you done? Make it, please go on the pan. Oh, baby. I'm all done. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hang on. Hold, hold on, up. daddy. Hold up. Hold up, daddy. Oh, this one's, <laughs> oh, this one's turning sideways on me. I'll move the pan to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies and cream. Ginger ale Kit Kat sounds bizarre as shit. And I love ginger ale. Mango Kit Kat. Uh, royal milk tea sounds like something made with like a queen's breast milk or but something. But that is also, that's in the same as the, what's the first one? The magna, the muskrat of Angelica. <laughs> I have that and I have royal milk. <laughs> uh, banana Kit Kat, which is Canadian. By the way, blueberry, blueberry cheesecake Kit Kat sounds like I'll fight all of you for all of those. <laughs> What's caramel? Why just look at me like that? What's caramel? It's, it's all yours. Fuck all of you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm Tupac right now. Caram caramel Kit Kat. I'm spitting, I'm spitting into Red Wings. What's caramel? It's a brand name for a caramel flavored bar that was created by Macintosh. Uh, caramel. Caramel sounds like a uh, like a Midwestern factory that <laughs> employs like half the town of Lima, Ohio. <laughs> oh, ever since the Caramac thing went down, everyone's jobless. Ironically, tonight is also Caramac's big party. So, a big, big holiday party. Uh, soy sauce Kit Kat. No. Now that, I don't know. I mean, I'll try all of these. Veggie honeycomb Kit Kat sounds amazing. It sounds, it's in one, it's like one giant Kit Kat. Fruit parfait. Gross. Bubble gum. Uh, that's dicey. Tiramisu I would try. Tiramisu, I, oh, that's it. I feel like bubblegum Kit Kat would be something where you say that, like, when you vomit, you're like, I just, like, before I vomit, I always smell it's like bubblegum Kit Kat. <laughs> like, that's what would come to your head. That's like, pretty, that's, uh, Craig in Virginia says he has more info on Japanese candies, because they do get weird. It gets dicey over there. <laughs> they really, it's like, it's their version of the Tokyo Drift. Yeah, you really Craig. like to slide into some random <laughs> shit with their candy. <laughs> Craig, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? Not much, man. Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle. 
Yeah, we've got uh, friends that are stationed over there, and they've sent us boxes and boxes of uh, some of the weirdest stuff you've ever tried. Do they send you shit like, yo, check that this is crazy? Yeah, I've had the pumpkin Kit Kat. Kind of tastes like what you would think it tastes like. Uh, strawberry shortcake is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, I bet. I thought you were going to say something where it's like, Wasabi Kit Kat. I think it's like it's cadaver like finger. A, <laughs> yeah. yeah wasabi, really. You did the wasabi. The wasabi Kit Kat is like, um, if you've ever gone into World Market or whatever, they have Tabasco chocolate. Yeah. Oh. Like that flavor. God, you, yeah. did you like it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a, I'm a wasabi fan on sushi. It's a little, it's, it's See, beyond too, Tabasco, but, but it's right up there. Yeah. Some flavors I just are, don't like the idea of something being spicy. I don't want an aggressive but flavor. But how do you feel about, Dan, how do you feel about, like, I don't, I haven't even tried any kind of a bacon chocolate or anything, and that's very popular now, but I've never even given it a shot. It I sounds ridiculously bad to me. I did it once at the creek. She had chocolate bacon, and I didn't like it. It sounds terrible to me. I was all right. I like. I love bacon. bacon. I love chocolate. I love chocolate. Love bacon. Hated it together. Have you? No one else has. Anyone else tried it? No. Craig, what's the craziest Japanese candy? Yeah. He's like butt fuck suckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's jizz, all jizz covered shit <laughs> treats. Yeah. It's all. Uh, it's all. Yeah. They have placenta suckers. <laughs> uh, it's pretty gross. Craig, what's the worst yeah, one? Or uh, uh, pumpkin Kit Kat. That was the worst. See, I wouldn't think that would be that bad because of pumpkin pie. Well, I that don't... means he hasn't tried. I know I would try that too, but that means he hasn't tried like you know soy sauce. Well, let's Kit find. Kat. Let's find out where the fuck to order these. We can do that because we have Craig. Thanks for your call, buddy. Tyler in California hey, says he has a Japanese website. You can buy all this stuff and other weird shit. So and people explain that, Tyler. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Second time calling in, actually. Oh, oh nice. well, how does it feel? Is it is it easier? Do you feel like it's more painful? How does it feel? Uh, are we going to end up I doing D'Angelo Wednesdays? Possible. I'm totally fine with that. What's the website? But uh, It's called J-List. Um, there's an American guy living over there, and that's what he does for his living. He ships over anything. Like, they have all the Kit Kat flavors you could want, as well as things like pocket pussies that look like a cup of noodles. Yes! Finally! <laughs> someone must, they someone must finally came up with my idea of cup of puss? <laughs> yeah. They've been getting my letters. They never write back. Oh, those sons of bitches. I they lie I told them they could have the idea. I don't want anything. They just wanted the prototype. <laughs> <laughs> the I, my fucking keyboard doesn't work because it's a goddamn million dollar studio where everything falls to shit. Oh, oh this so is J-List. great. Is that, a, uh, is that an anal warmer? Yeah, of course it is. I think it is. A USB simple... The thing is they have a, an ass mouse pad. It's just a, this anime girl with a gigantic ass, and it's for your mouse pad. That's it's great. Really like four pounds. All right. I took a I took a mouse pad and I I can't use it. I took an axe axe capital mouse pad from the set yesterday and I can't even use it. Really? So I have a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got to figure. I'm like someone on the cast was like, oh, all right, big boob oh, mouse look at mouse that. pad. That's fun. They also had a thing that was like how to draw pornographic anime. Can we uh, do that? Can then. we please order that and see who can draw better porn anime? Are you a decent artist at all? No, I'm okay at drawing, but I'm okay too at what I can draw. I Me draw too. one guy. Me too. All right, we should, we should draw our guy and show it today when we no, get a break. No, because I, I can like, draw my guy so fast. I can draw my guy like faster than you can draw your guy. Then let's draw our guys on the okay. break. All right, first break. Fine. Um, it's coming. Jayless, thank you so much, Tyler. We're gonna look this. Uh, Jayless this up might be our new favorite website. I mean, it's p very possible. I might do all my Christmas shopping off of this thing. <laughs> your mom's like, uh, Jay, why did you get me a weird Japanese foot fetish book? <laughs> You're like, Mom. That's I, the top seller on Jay. I can't have this but I can't have this titties and butt mouse pet in my house. Jay, I don't know why you, people are going to come to my, over to my house and they're going to see that weird butt fuck. Our friends come bag. over. Our friends come over and they're going to see the mouse pad. <laughs> mouse pad. Uh, we got to take our first break. You are. Uh, it's going to be. I think Japanese candy day. Yeah, well, I got so much to talk about. You got so much to talk about. Oh yeah, I'm going so to call on the campers in this one. I got, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, to go get that. I know who you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My cameras. I'm gonna call on the cameras. Guess what? Man. I got so much to listen to. Someone did a real queef move. Yeah, I was pissed about it when I heard about it. We'll be right back with it. It's a bonfire. You know when you hear those funky jazz grooves, is that grab? Is that slap bass? 
That means I'm going to ask Jay a question. Does paying for channels you don't watch make you want to scream a four-letter word? Yes. Stop. Oh, wait. This is a three-letter word. I'll yeah. go, yeah. Oh, that's four. Yeah. That's fun. Stop it. Just stop. All right. It's time for a skinny bundle that gives you what you actually watch and not what you don't. Introducing the new Flex Pack from Dish. You start with over 50 popular channels. You want more than add channel packs like Locals, Variety, Kids, and News. It's a lot of variety. It's a ton of variety. You don't watch? Don't pay. Call 1-844-CALL-DISH today or visit dish.com to sign up. The new Flex Pack from Dish. It's over 50 popular channels for just thirty nine ninety nine a month with your first channel pack included. And more channel packs like Local, Variety, Kids, News, and more for $10 a month each. Get the skinny. Call 1-844-CALL-DISH or visit dish.com to sign up. Requires credit qualification to your commitment, early termination fee, and e-auto pay. One TV included. Taxes and surcharges are extra. Other restrictions apply. Ah! Yeah. Ah! I am a god among men! Hey, this is Ari Shafir, encouraging you to do mushrooms after the bonfire with Big J and Dan. Big up I need you, I really think so. Oh, hello. Um... It's a bonfire. Nicole, one of our biggest fans, just tweeted, she can't believe that we don't like uh, Hershey's Crackle Bars. And I'm going to say this. If we say Crackle, Crackle, real shit candy. <laughs> I'll throw it out there. Crackle? Crackle candy. One of my favorite min- One of my favorite minis, though. Great mini, not a great full bar. I never even had a full Crackle Bar. Is it's the thing? trailer of a movie. You can do a full Crackle. You can do a big-ass full Crackle. Really? Yeah, it's like a Mr. Good Bar, also known as the stepdad of candy. Oh, my God. Just straight peanuts. <laughs> Just fuck? chocolate, peanuts, and clean up your room. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate, peanuts, and give me and your mom some privacy. Yeah, it, really, it smells like Pledge. I fucking... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Mr. Goodbar, but I'll tend to go for it before I go for it. Now, I'll eat a, a big Hershey's dark chocolate, Yeah, but I do not go for the mini one at all. If See, I, I love the get, mini. If I'm getting a little blast, it's got to have a little little zip to it. Crackle. I'll even go Mr. Goodbar. Uh, you, just want, you want the variety with mini candies. Yeah, just something different. The, the, the small Nestle's Crunch is the best, and I'll be honest with you. My favorite thing in the world to get, as we as we're talking about Kit Kats, this this the two the two Kit Kat. Yes, it's the best your, Halloween one. It's about when you get it on Halloween. I dig those would be first thing gone. Yeah, then all my baby boxes of nerds. <laughs> Smarties were always the last thing to go. And when Trish made me eat that bowl of Smarties with that spoon, it became the least favorite candy of mine. Ooh. Um, we have a guest coming in in like a half hour, a little less actually. A little less, so but we'll, we'll get into some more candy with him. You have, you live on a street where, like, I live on a street in Queens where there's two nightclubs on both sides. Really? There's um, there's a Euro Trash nightclub, Great. and then there's like a Dominican hardcore, like, uh, there's like you know, floss and thugs mm-hmm. on the other side. And when they let out, when I used to smoke cigarettes, I used to just sit on my stupid smoke cigarettes and watch them. Because they all, you know, they are all 4 a.m. I'm up playing Madden, smoking weed. Mm-hmm. I go outside and watch them cross pollinate. So all the Euro trash would be like, hey, 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 yelling something. Dominican's like, fuck that shit. You, I saw, like, I think I saw in total three fights. It was Ooh, pretty good. That's good, though. It's pretty good odds. That, that was about over a two year period. Good ones, though? Like a good, like a knockout? No. Oh. Uh, there was two push, push, throw, punch, miss, throw, punch, miss, throw, punch, miss, wrestle. There was, that was two of them. Okay. One of them was... The same exact choreography for both? Yeah, I was like, one and two and three and four and five and five and five and six, five and six, 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 Cut! Cut! Luis, what was that? I don't know, man. I'm out there trying my bed. It's late, man. 4.30. What do you want me to do? Then one of them was uh, two guys pushing, then one guy punched the other guy, and then the other guy was like, hey, hey, hey! When someone gets punched, and that's too it's much over. for them. Yeah, it's like, whoa, whoa, real now. Yeah, that's it's real now. That's what happened. The Euro trash guy was like, whoa, 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 and then they broke it up. But um, you live in a neighborhood where you guys sit outside and smoke and just see crazy shit during the day, because you live in the East Village. Yeah, pretty much. But we live across the street from a police station. Which is pretty safe. We live next to uh, a hairdresser, a robot toy store, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, kind of like, you know... <laughs> you live in, like... Uh, you could build a robot for yeah. this toy store. And then, like, uh... That sounds like a... Oh, and then a Danish modern furniture place. It's great. Okay. It's fine. This it sounds like this toy movie. store... This toy store next to us, I've never thought anything about, other than it's a, clearly a family-owned business with this Middle Eastern family. I see the young daughter goes every day and, like, opens it all up and everything. They don't really talk at all. They're not particularly friendly, but... I'm always just kind of like, oh, wow, look at that. They run this little toy store. That's pretty cool. You know, they, they must do stuff. well. I bought stuff there, yeah. I bought Are stuff you building for... a robot? 
What? I can't get into that right now. <laughs> That's a whole thing. Are you developing AI? I'm trying to make a robot boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I went over to smoke weed and play NBA 2K, and I noticed there's a child sitting there. You're like, yeah, he, yeah. he's a robot. I dress him in English, uh, like like schoolboy clothes. Yeah. I make him wear shorts. I'm like, why is he just like Angus Young? Well, it's my <laughs> that's my kink. Mm -hmm. uh, no, there's this uh, robot store next to us, and then on the other side, like this furniture store. But this family, they always come in there. They're not particularly nice or friendly, I'd say, but like you know, quiet and don't bother anybody. The other day, a guy, a black dude walks out, and this guy's, like, taking pictures of the place and, like, FaceTiming, or not FaceTime, but, like, you know, like Snapchatting or Periscoping, like, this place is racist. I walk in there, I spent, I'm holding shopping bags from other places. I spend money. I'm a well-dressed dude. They see a black man walk in, they start getting shitty with me and saying all this stuff, and... And like, oh, no, 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 that's just their customer service. It's I swear to you, I, I'm writing it off just because they're so quiet and, like, docile people, it seems yeah. like to me, that I'm like... This is some black dude who's doing like a whole like oh they can't black man can't walk around your store. I'm like ridiculous. They're giving the you break you buy from the society. But then Christine goes oh I've heard from several people they're pretty shitty in there and I'm like oh really? I didn't know that. And then so the guy's like you know I was talking to the guy for a few minutes and then and then the guy walked away and I was like oh maybe they would judge treat like shit that sucks. Um, yeah, they like follow people around the store. He was it was like the third or fourth person that's walked out of there and said something like that. So. Well, maybe they shouldn't sell such high-priced robotics. Dude, today, talk about a sweet little just nice moment. We were having, me and Christine went out to smoke a cigarette, and I was having to grab the football in the house. Yeah. And I'm like tossing it up in the air, just fucking around. And then I, and then, uh, I go, Christine, I go, I go, go, walk down, like, you know, take like five steps down the block. You're making Christine run routes? No. I just need to do an inside post, and I swear to God, you break at that 10-yard mark, and I'm going to put it right in your fucking numbers. Yeah. I go, I'm going to tattoo you, yeah. so I don't know. be prepared. You know, John Elway's receivers had broken hands. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> I'm going to fucking do the same thing. And I just wanted to walk up a couple feet, yeah. obviously, and like, let's just have like, a little, like... Boyfriend girlfriend catch. Yeah, as boyfriend and girlfriends are known to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can all... tell we didn't have fathers. Like, you play catch with your girlfriend. Yeah. That's what you do Dirty. in a loving relationship. Yeah. Just zip it into her. <laughs> yeah. Just go like, hey, all right, go just do a button hook. <laughs> on a fucking one, two, three. She's like, like, ah. like, what's a button hook? Like, ah. Just run to that. Run to that trash can. You'll see. You'll see. turn around as fast as you can. Turn around and hand up and buckle up because <laughs> yeah. it's coming in hard. It's coming in hot. Might want to grab that bird's helmet I got inside. Put oh, it we're, on. We're, we're, we're tossing the ball back and forth. I'm trying. You know, it's it's literally a rare, adorable moment for us where I'm like trying to show <laughs> it's her. So funny about a guy playing catch with his girlfriend, and that's your adorable moment. It is, but no, but it's like heartwarming in a funny, weird it is, of way. Of course, but she has no. Hey, idea. pal, want to catch? <laughs> she doesn't know how to throw a ball, so I'm I'm helping her with putting her hands. That I'm is cute. To, Usually people do that at the park or the beach, but you're doing it in front of your house. I get it. I like it. I'm smoking a cigarette in winter clothes. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it's such a divorced dad catch. So one of them I'm trying to show her it's like I did it, you know, I'm doing I'm doing about on regularity a three step to five step drop. That's get rid of it. That's a quick slam. Wait, tell him I caught every one. She caught every one. Really? You have hands? Mm -hmm. She cannot throw that ball though. That's fine. I can catch. She starts, uh, she won't get out of the idea that she doesn't, you're not supposed to start to throw in the Statue of Liberty stance. <laughs> like, she can't get that out of her head. I'm like, just wind it up and throw it. Like, you throw anything. But they all start like, they're like robot people. She can't help it. And, and one hand's out, like, yeah. just trying to steady everything in her body. You go, hey, starting it, you know, lineup. Just fucking let yeah. go of the ball. She, if, I, if she would know, if she would have got the reference, I would have called her a starting lineup action figure. <laughs> she would have never got it. Uh, <laughs> but, um,. So I drop back. I do yeah. a five-step drop, right? Look left and right. Deke a couple people out. Yeah. Break out of the pocket. I don't know if you're rolling outside the pocket. Zip I feel it. like you could do that, though. Zip it to her. She throws it back. Now I'm standing sort of in front of the robot store, right? You know what robots hate? Catch. I, I'm no, literally, when the guy came over complaining the other day, I was like, oh, please. Like, you're just Stop being like, sensitive. It. Like, they're just a fucking. I'm goofy. a white man. They don't do that to us. They're a goofy. They're just like a goofy Middle Eastern family. Like, run. They're just. I, I'm sure they make. They're, I'm sure they're like nervous of everybody. Yeah. The daughter, the young daughter comes out. And she goes, she goes, this is not a park. He goes, don't play ball in front of my store. She goes, you take this somewhere else. It's not a park, okay? And I was like, what? And she goes, it's not a park. Don't play ball here, okay? In not front of my ball. store. Don't play ball in front of my store. I'm like, and she starts walking away. I go, 
what the fuck? I go, I go, excuse me? What's the problem? And she goes in, her mom, the, uh, but I just, I go, I go, oh, excuse me. Oh, you got the mama man. Dude, I, I go, excuse me. I go, excuse me, what? And then the mom comes over, pulls her in, slams the door, and like, lock, like cranks it locked. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> they hate football. Then the, boy, do they. If I was playing soccer, they would have loved it. They're like, oh, your technique is off, but if I, was I see the passion in your eyes. If I was building a Ferrari or... <laughs> yeah. How fast does that go? Can I, wear, can I wear a shirt unbuttoned to my belly button while I drive it? <laughs> so it doesn't end. The mom locks the door, and I go, what the fuck is wrong? you start banging on the door like a grizzly bear? <laughs> no, it got better. <laughs> no, I'm just like, I'm, just like, I'm not going to stop doing anything I'm doing. Yeah. And, we, and we say, by the way... If she came out and she's like, guys, I'm, I'm nervous about my... By the way, there was no threat to her window in any way. Yeah, but I or, understand someone coming out and being like, hey, guys, can you move it down the block? Can you move it can down a few feet? We just like, don't want to... Uh, any number of things that are just like... It's like, oh, guys, I'm, I, you know, you blame on yourself. You do that like, you know, my, my instinct would be more like Christine said, too, to be like, hey, it's like, I would really... Like, I'm, I'm freaking out every time that ball comes over. Can you, would you mind just moving it down a Which, couple by feet? The way, it's likable. It's adorable. It's relatable. I'd go. You catch more flies with honey. It really like this girl has no I'd idea go, sure. to speak to anyone. I'd go. I'd, I'd go. Yeah, yeah, fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Like, oh, that's funny. I get it. You don't trust my catching. You probably make a joke back. It'd be cute. Maybe. I have no problem. Like, you know what? I'm gonna be by later. By a robot. <laughs> yeah. You know what? This catch goes good. I might get myself a little robot dog. I'm seeing about thirty. Mom pulls her in, slams the door shut, and then I'm like, "What the there's fuck?" A, there's a great white beast outside. And then I see the mom. Then, then she like angrily. Nothing's happened in in, in the ten seconds from here now. Mm -hmm. The mom opens the thing back up behind the door, and she goes, What are you, five years old? You're five years old or something? You get the fuck... And he's like, you should have winged the fucking ball at her. You should have just fucking pivoted. You should have just... Like, like, Wham! <laughs> I just fucking sent that. Now, it was funny. You know, we live across the street from a police station. Oh. So... so but it's like I have anything to do with that, because I... I goes, so it's just like... It's finally just like kind of hitting me, because I'm like, what is... I don't even know what's happening. Yeah. 40 seconds ago, it would have been like, ah, it's a nice, goofy little family that runs the store. I've yeah. never, never anything like this before. The, uh, it's funny, but it just kind of hits me, so I just go, hey, go fuck yourself. I start cursing at them. Yeah. And they slam the door shut and lock it again, and then I just give a good... Pooy! <laughs> Escalation. All over the window. Escalation. You really went fucking... You got you get burned up quick on that one, huh? They're lucky I didn't put a trash can through. I'm very impulsive. Here's the thing. I'm zero to 60. Yeah. But you have to, it's, you got to do it. The problem with my zero to 60 is it takes, in it. it takes so much to get me off zero that by the time I'm at zero to 60, now I'm also kind of like, I let this go and I let that thing go and I was so cool about this and you couldn't handle it different. That by the time you get me, I go, you've been treating me like a jerk off now for a while. So that's yeah. why I'm extra. I don't just get like the immediate, like, Hey, buddy, you bumped swords with me. I'm like, what the fuck? You gonna? I'm not that guy. I'm, I, I'd be a the guy. Bumps. I'd be the guy. I'd be like, okay, man, I'm sorry. And then if the guy's like, yeah, why don't you watch where the fuck you're going? I'm like, yeah, dude, I said I was sorry. I, I, it's the same. So by the time I'm in a fight with a guy like that, yeah, I'm so over the top because I'm like, well, I just ate shit for a couple times. Like, why are you? You know what I mean? Like, do you so, see what I'm saying? I get so amped up. So the fact that I'm just how like, good was the loogie though? Oh, it was good. It Christine, really Christine, how good of a loogie was it? It was great. It was right. It was, it was perfect. It was right running, on the it window. Ran. It ran. Yeah. It ran down. So which go? So the young girl pops out. This is the best part. It's so funny. She goes, "You spit like a bitch." She goes, "She goes, you know." She goes, "I am calling the cops right now. I'm calling the cops." I go, "Congratulate fucking late. Go ahead, call the cops. You dumb twat." She goes, "I'm calling the cops." I go, I "Have a ball." Yeah. I don't care. Call the cops by all means. Because here's the thing. Here's the beauty. Of, this is this has worked against me, and I will always make it work for me. Great, you're gonna call them over and say, "Hey, you spit on, they spit on me." I'm gonna go. Oh, hey, guess what? You fucking came out and you and your mom shoved me. Oh. And here's the thing: there's no evidence of that, but I'm gonna. And they're gonna go. The worst that's gonna happen. I know this from histories of these kind of things. They're gonna go. Well, does everybody want to get arrested, or are we going to just let this go? And I go, I'll let it go. Yeah. You know, they're going to have to let it go. But they go, actually, what you don't know is we have a very strict legal team for specifically these situations. <laughs> no, here's the best part. The lady goes, she goes, you're going to go to jail. She goes, the daughter, she goes, and don't think I don't know who you are. Jay Okerson, failed comedian. <laughs> you made her, you're making her a little more Indian than she is. I really don't do accents. It's not Dan's story. <laughs> and I kind of want.
want. I mean, I'll go live the life to see what she is to properly in the other, But that they might is, be Indian. No, she goes. She goes. I know. She goes. I know who you are. She goes. Don't think I don't know who you are. You're Jay Okerson, failing comedian. I was like, you know, you know his name, you idiot. Yeah. Killing it. She goes. I re- fucking Saudi knows me. I'm doing all right. So that's in, how did she, how does she know your name? By the way, this is literally a body of work. I, we would I give heard. their address, but it's literally the address to our apartment building. We see these people every day. And this happened today. Today. What happened today? So What's tomorrow it? morning she's gonna be like. By the way, I rewatched live at Webster Hall, and I'm going to start. I'm go- I, I may, love. I may that. start just verbally harassing them. Well, <clears throat> I mean, we should get the stoop shitter back. But I mean, literally, I might just start going. They walk in. I go. I'll be like, get in your fucking store. Whoa. Just whatever. No, no, that's too much. Is that too much? That's what do way I do? What do I too do? Much. Um, you know, just be passive aggressive. Do what yeah. white people are born to do. Right. Just get super passive aggressive. Time to open up your shitty store. Yeah. Just yes, n- not even comment good. on it. I would even say kill them with kindness. I hope, hey. I hope your I hope your parents die in a plane crash that they no. don't start. Hey, I would say. Just start, just fuck with her head and just be super nice. I'd like to find out why she's like that, actually. Plus, I'd be like, hey, can we talk? Like, what was, like, what was that, you weirdo? Can you wear a wire? It won't work. I could see, I could tell by the... It might not work, but The meaning of somebody coming out... Can, can, we, our, wire, our, can our, we wire our, you guys like snitches? Sure. Our, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, voice record it. No, the, but I, I want like a... Like, you, want, you, want, you know what's going on? You want to see her in the and tell me what to say? So yeah. I don't say things that are going to get me arrested? I'm like, Jay, pull it back. Jay, pull it back. Jay, pull it back. Yeah. <laughs> pull it back. Pull it back. Someone said I hope your in. firstborn is a Down syndrome one. No. Jay, no, 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 Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. She clearly reads in tarot bang. Pull her. Pull him. Um, it was so. But uh, that's really funny that she said. What's crazy? Failing comedian. It's and weird. Your first. It's me. weird. Your first words to me. Like this isn't a park. Get that away from my front of my. Like like just so weirdly aggressive. Like why would you not try first? Like a. Hey. Like because so the one thing you'd see at any point we'd go. This isn't a big deal, what's happening, but I don't want it to happen. Catch. Dude, adorable catch with my girlfriend. She's like, you know what I hate is watching couples get closer. I don't like adorability. Stop it. This isn't the fucking TBS show. I do not. I'm making them bigger full blown Indian. Yeah, yeah, they may be know. Indian. They might be Indian. No, but that girl, that girl is a bitch. You remember? That was the first thing I said when she. I was like, oh, that chick's a bitch. Like she seems quiet and mousy, I'm but I bet she has no friends. Do it, go the Dan Soda way. I'm just gonna keep prank phone calling her. Oh man, can yeah. we just prank phone call? Oh, we can call prank phone call them now. Probably. No, they're not open. Can, yeah. Are they open? They might be. Well, let's just do it. Let's see if they can make a sex robot. I want. Uh, I am looking for sexual robot. <laughs> <laughs> can, you do, can you do it all as a as a, as as a, as as a, a Japanese? Uh, I am a very important Japanese businessman man. to build a sexual robot. I want a, a sexual robot. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a sexual robot? Ask for a specific like robot piece, Christine. What's look the up, robot? Look, piece? look up like a robot piece that we need. We we can't put them on the air. What? Jacob, uh, do you have to ruin all of our fun? God, is this corporate, Jacob? Yes. Is this because Zach's sitting next to you and you feel the heat of Comedy Central <laughs> coming down your neck? That's it. So- In the studio, um, we have someone representing Comedy Central, uh, Zach. Zach. Hey guys, there he is, Zach. You look Zach. like Zach. Has, do I? has someone told you that? Your no. parents nailed it. Oh, yeah. I know your parents took a shot, but they nailed it. Young man wearing khakis? That's fucking... That's Zach. Yeah, I would give him my entire fiscal portfolio just by the way he looks. <laughs> Ironically, the only Zach I know is... Looks, my friend. It looks like... Uh, oh, no. I was saying oh. Zach Amico, who oh, looks yeah. like... If, if, you put, if you put me in a broiler. <laughs> <laughs> He's this Zach if you leave him in water too long? He <laughs> Zach looks like me if you melted a Hershey's kiss on me and then pushed an M&M into it. Hey. That, those are one of Trish's holiday treats. I don't what did she call him? She called him something good, though. I don't, she doesn't have a name for it. You I'll, know they were called something. I, I know. I'll find. I like little farty turtles or something. Dan, you want your farty turtles this I year? Go, uh, no, you know what she used to do? See, I used to have a dipping sauce. Did anyone else do that when they had tiny hot dogs? I had mayonnaise and mustard, and she'd mix it together. And I didn't know. Is that not? I'm losing the room? No. What'd you oh, call it? I've mixed mayonnaise and mustard in my Just life. Dipping sauce. I don't know. She called it dipping sauce. Yeah. Dip- oh, it wasn't. She didn't say, give me the mayo mustard. She goes, did you want? That was just dip. That was your dipping sauce? Yeah. For Christine, that is uh, that is Thousand Island dressing. That's what she means when she says dipping sauce for anything. She means Thousand Island. I get it. I'm ranch all the way. Uh, I actually, yeah, I love ranch. Thank you. Non-buttermilk. 
What was it? Non-buttermilk. You know what she'll do? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to need you to go outside real quick while I talk to Jack. Do you know what she'll do, by the way? We have to do some realignments in the staff. <laughs> if there's only one ranch, right, only one that everyone's got to share, she takes Chitalula and just starts pouring it in the actual ramekin of ranch. And I'm like, hey, I might want to split my ranch and hot sauce up. You just made a decision for all of us. <laughs> You really do merge the worlds. That's a power move. I respect that. It's crazy. I, uh, I'm going to start stirring everything with my dick. I like, will, this is how I like it. Dick I, stirred. Taste it. <laughs> I won't have uh, Kraft Ranch because it's garbage. I set it right here. Thank you, right, Mercury? You'll do Hidden Valley, though. Like uh, all day, every day. That's all I do. Wishbone if things are bad. That's very buttermilky. It's super buttermilky. That's why when you say you don't like buttermilk ranch, I'm like, cool. I like the sour cream she does, mayo mix with the ranch seasoning dumped in, like she they does, make it CPK. She does like buttermilk ranch. She doesn't like a few buttermilk ranch she's had in her life, and she equates it all to being that. But pretty much all ranch. Good you luck finding one not buttermilk. shit on Hidden Valley. It's the best. I, I eat it. I like it. I don't like that I have to convince you of that. I'm upset now. I thought, I Lou, just, I thought Lou just pumped his fist in because I was like, yes, we all like Hidden Valley Ranch now. <laughs> now we are officially on the same page after a year and a half of shows. Jacob, you probably do not like ranch. I hate ranch. I know. I don't even like the smell of it. What but the- you like balsamic on everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you, Jacob. Oh, Jacob, I hate the fact that you dip your bread in oil. <laughs> Just oil. He goes, oh, please keep the CD out. <laughs> and not much bread. No ranch at all. I don't like Thousand it. Island, too? No. I don't yeah, you're like off any. the show. Zach, you're our new producer. All Welcome, right, thanks. Zach. I'm stepping up. You've yeah. got the pants and shirt for it. Now all we need is you to fulfill the Did job. Did they send you in here to report back to them about what we're like on the sh- as the show? Um, what I do at the office is I just listen to the show and then just like you write tell them down what? what it's about. Really? Yeah. So I mean, you, so just... you're the ears. T- you're well, how it's Comedy Central. <laughs> is he, they have an intern listening to our show, and that's how Comedy Central knows about what we do. Yeah, they don't listen. <laughs> What? No, uh, no. I mean, like my my boss listens. And stuff no, too. don't he lie. Doesn't. Don't lie. Don't lie. You listen for your boss. Is that really the case? No. Can no. We, oh, I'm telling you, he listens. Howard Stern's it. never read one book of one person who's walked into a studio. That's what his his act does. And then they go and hey, the book's about this, and there's this part. Hold on. More than one billion Yahoo accounts hacked. When did this happen? Today? I gotta change my email. Yeah, I use Yahoo. Don't you still have Yahoo? Fuck off, dude. I like (laughs) Yahoo. And I'm kind of freaking out right now. I got an AOL dicking around somewhere. I don't know. I don't want to go, man. Um, So you're going to report back. Oh, it's definitely you, Dan. All your dick pics. (laughs) All your meaty dick pics. None are in there. And the Yahoo? That's all business, baby. Oh, you keep your dick pics on the Gmail. Yeah. (laughs) I go Gmail dick pic. That's strong. Fortify. (laughs) Um, So you're going to report back to Comedy Central about what? happened today like on the show yeah i mean have you ever heard your boss listening to the show yeah no we've talked about the show before like we listen who's to your it. boss uh jeremy okay oh, jeremy yeah have you read to say things like boss i think they went a little too far today no i haven't had to say that but like my second day listening to the episode was the one where you guys were talking about like wiping your asses mm-hmm. and standing and sitting and i'm eating my turkey sandwich like trying not to throw up for an hour and a half good i'm uh, how descriptive were we <laughs> very descriptive well we are an audio means <laughs> yeah we are would it make you uh happy to know though the outcome of that is i've changed at 39 years old the way i wipe my ass forever well it 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 brought up a weird point with my family too because I was telling my brother it's about it. Zach's family. <laughs> like I went, like I went, I was Love talking it. with my brother and I was like, "Yeah." So they were talking about like sitting and standing when you're wiping. and we're both like, "Oh, that's so weird." And then you have that moment where you make eye contact, like, "What side are you on?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what weird is it? He was a stander for half his life. He was a stander. Yeah. Threw off my whole perception, of my brother. We created a civil war. Yeah. <laughs> People, family, brother against brother. It's going to be an awkward Christmas at the Zach house. <laughs> yeah. He's going to go. I'm going to go to the bathroom. He's going to go. You're going to stand up this time, you <laughs> fucking animal. Yeah. You want to be in there for 45 minutes? Do you want to come out in a few? Yeah. Um, well, when you report back today. Just for the record, you know how hard it is to put a finger up your ass, though, while you're half sitting, though? I have a hard time with that. I guarantee it bumps up your core strength. Oh, yeah. 
true to that. <laughs> I think I got some wicked <laughs> Oh, dude, my obliques are popping. Still fat, but rocking obliques. <laughs> I just have, I'm fat, but I just have the V that goes down to my dick. <laughs> What's that from? You go, surprisingly, sticking my finger in my ass while I'm sitting there. It's finger my own ass while I'm wiping my ass, but I do it sitting down now, so I've been really just like holding my body weight up on that one cheek. You go, it's been insane. You go, three, two, one, and excite. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> set a five, set a five, and then we're done. <laughs> a little bit of pee. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh. Uh, is our guest here? No. He's not here yet? Oh, good. Should I, should we take a break or should I tell my, uh... Actually, you can take a break. Yeah? Your what? What I want to say about, uh, Instagram, Instagram yeah. No, I thought we were going to wait for Ari. We Japanese can. candy and then Instagram Ferrari. We can. We're just, we're just talking about what we're doing. And the art poll. Oh. oh, by the way, at the bonfire, SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, you can uh, pick which drawing you like better that Jay or I did. We're not going to tell you which drawing is which, but you can uh, you can vote at the bonfire, SXM on Twitter, Instagram. Is it just on Twitter? Is the poll? I the poll's going to be on Twitter, but I'm putting it up on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. Okay. Very cool. So make and sure by the way, those are the two drawings. We sat here in silence in between live reads and drew. <laughs> it felt like fucking fifth grade. It was great. It was. And, uh, I'll tell you this. If you're a grown person, just draw once a day. Just draw something. I guarantee you, watch some study will come out, maybe on a hacked Yahoo website, that uh, it's probably good for you. I doodle a decent amount. You doodle a lot? Life. I do doodle. A decent amount. Never got into any of the doodling like apps though. No, nah, that doesn't feel me. as fun. Nah. You like to feel you like to feel pen on paper. I like to have pen in hand. Yeah, I get it. Paper. Uh we need a little pencil. Ooh. Uh, start out the sketch maybe. Come back out, in with pen after. I never met my grandfather, my dad's dad, but I found out from my grandma over Thanksgiving he used to do charcoal sketches. She's gonna find out where they are. What an old timey way a, to draw. Was she a Wiccan gravestone etcher? <laughs> yeah. She's like, I used to make the headstones for babies. Hmm. Yes. Um, so, yeah, let's take a break. And we'll be back, hopefully, with our guest. He's here. Ooh. Then we will be back with our and guest. And we're going to convince Zach, the intern, to tell Comedy Central that we're the greatest duo. Oh, shit. That they have. Mark Face, I just saw your note you wrote. What about Twix? Twix is good. Love Twix. By the way, can I just say this? The best candy ice cream bar is Twix. Yes. Is it? Suck my dick if you think it's Snickers. I I'm okay with Snickers. It's good. It ain't Twix. I'm a King Cone guy for going ice cream, but we're getting ahead of ourselves, everyone. Right now, it's just the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Well, that's Alphaville with Big Japan. An 80s classic right here on the bonfire. Oh, you should have really fucked people up and gone, you're listening to the 80s on 8. And they're like driving, like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> Trying to cause accidents? No, not really, but yeah, kind of. You bastard. It's the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soto, that's Big J Okerson. And joining us in the studio... Um, uh, Yo, dogs. I would say the uh, the great, the, four the fourth member of the bonfire. Yeah, because uh, Redman, Red Jacob, Redman, Redman, yeah. Redman's Ari Shafir is the fourth. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That. Two more episodes of this season of Ari Shafir's This Is Not Happening on Comedy Central. Uh, that's of course December seventeenth. It's killing. It's killing. It's Fucking killing. great show. A great By the way, season. The, the openings are awesome. Openings Your are season too. was great. I love all the shit that you this season. Thing. Yeah, I know you were on this season. I said that when they were doing the body <laughs> issues. It's a great story, and I loved it. <laughs> But uh, the drug the thing was great when you shot the heroin and then oh, uh, yeah. did, did a line of crystal meth up your nose. I asked them to, to do that real, let me shoot heroin, but they they talked to something about insurance. <laughs> yeah, but I just like the oh, thing where you, you're... you do heroin one time, they were insurance? Yeah. Yeah. Corporate is yeah. so shitty. Seriously, what? make some artistic risks. Yeah. When you were walking down going, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was fucking really making me laugh. <laughs> so make sure you check out the episode on December 17th with Tom Papa, Steve Simeone, and... Ga Simone. Simone. Steve Simone. Steve Simone. Simone and Gaster Almonte. And and, yeah, that's tomorrow night. That's tomorrow night. And then uh, the season finale on December 22nd, it's going to be Al Ali Sadiq, who's been on our show, is fucking hilarious. Oh, great. great. Simmons, who's great. And of course, the God, Mad Joey. Flavor. Mad Flavor. Yeah, that's a good episode. Joey Coco Diaz. That's uh, a real good episode. One time we were doing it when I had to like smoke out of a bong for one of the openings last year, and uh, they had this fake stuff that you'd light, so it looks like yeah. it's... And I, I just could not get it to fill up the bong. And I was like, guys... 
Mm-hmm. How about everyone just looks away, and one of the interns goes get my bags from the from the, from the dressing room, <laughs> and we just make this look right. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, okay. Answer, okay. Yeah, yeah, but I was so, I mean, I took way too big a hit. So it was like <laughs> the these, next four hours. I so. used to do this shitty web series. It wasn't a shitty, it was kind of shitty. Uh, Yahoo.com, I did a web series. Speaking of getting hacked. <laughs> hacked. Uh, <laughs> they, they went through your web series into the whole account. They're like, I'm going to fuck it. I got to hack this guy's account. It was the back door. But they, um, they, we were doing an episode of how to get over, like, past drug tests. Yeah. And so, like, we were teaching, like, you know, how to get past the hair test, how to get, like, or how long it takes and all that kind of stuff. And there was a scene where they were doing the same thing where they're like, hey, do you want to fire up this bong? And I was like, guys, I have weed on me. And then we can do this. <laughs> and the, I remember this producer, Shannon, was like, uh, we still have to do our walk and talk, and we still have to do a lot of stuff after this. So, are you going to be cool being? <laughs> are you going to be cool being high and doing this? I was like, Ed Shannon, I smoke weed oh, every. Totally. Day. I smoked twenty minutes ago. Yeah, I've had this conversation with you. Hi, I got so high. I was. I we did a fake. Uh, fake piss thing yeah. where it was like I poured something in it I, I was drinking the fake piss on camera <laughs> thinking it was the funniest thing and I looked over at her and she's like I know I shouldn't have let you got me fucking out really high <laughs> yeah, yeah awesome. that's what I was doing yeah. Woo, drinking pee I thought yeah I was, uh, what was I saying <laughs> I made up a, yeah it was a, it was a real stoner moment and I was like this is why they don't let you smoke actual weed when you're yeah. doing shit because I'll tell you what if I got too high I'd want to eat some of that Japanese candy which <sighs> Japanese candy have some of the best expired candy in the world. The best expired candy? So we were going through Kit Kat flavors earlier in the show. Oh, uh, yeah. Tea tree oil. Uh, what? <laughs> they have tea tree we oil. We didn't even get to that one. <laughs> they have gender awareness. Uh, <laughs> they have, uh, <laughs> they have uh, rain cloud flavored Kit Kat. What's the weirdest shit? Because you... <laughs> I've had lychee. I've had lychee. Factory Kit-Kat. line worker child flavored Kit Kats. <laughs> uh, t- a rubber, tire rubber Kit Kat. Don't bother jumping because they put up net flavored Kit Kats. <laughs> yeah. what's, the, what's, the weirdest, <laughs> what's the weirdest candy that you've... Had in because you've gone to Asia, but yeah, yeah, and that's one of the things I like doing is trying the local candies. Um, there's this kind, of, man. I wish I knew what it was, but it had these little dots inside it, kind of like a Starburst, but these little dots of extra weird flavor and tingly, tingly. on the inside. <laughs> Wait, that was us putting a microchip in <laughs> Ari Shafira. Uh, you tried the red the beak soup Starburst. Yeah, uh, we have you tracked now, like a piece of cattle. <laughs> uh, just so you know, the interns take notes on this uh, impression. Oh so, no, yeah, yeah. he's, he's been here us. for it's all going back to corporate, or... buddy. We already know it's <laughs> our last show. Yeah, <laughs> we know this is our last stand. He's here to end us. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it's he's gonna walk run. out and he's gonna go. It's done. He's our Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> he's set back in time. He's actually my dad. <laughs> he's gonna do the Simpsons thing where it's like the following employees please come to our office. Homer Simpson. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna fire one of you. That's my weird. meeting tomorrow, Ari. That I told you about. I'm gonna walk in and they're gonna oh, go. Yeah. You're gone. Jacob, please come to the meeting for a promotion. Dan Soder, please come to a meeting. We'll talk about it soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. <laughs> But uh, Asian candy, yeah, it's great. It's all expired. They get it from Korea and stuff. They so where does all... it start? Where's the freshest Asian I don't know. candy? Because I was like, oh, this is great Chinese candy. And my friend was like, that's not Chinese. That's Korean. I was like, well, how would you know? And he goes, I've lived in China. I can tell the difference between Chinese and Korean. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's fair. Well, we're getting Japanese stuff. Seems like it's going to be. What are you? What are you? What are you getting? We you found getting? a website where this guy sends you all this Japanese stuff. Go to jlist.com. It's a pretty cool website. There's a place south of Houston that I've been on on, on pot walks. That's that closer. Has- yeah, that has, have you been there? You're talking about the big candy store. <laughs> yeah, they, but they have exotic ones and foreign in ones. In fairness, That's it close. is that is closer. That is closer <laughs> than Japan. But can you learn? This website can teach us how to learn how to draw Japanese anime porn. I mean, no, that that I don't. I didn't ask about that at the at the store. But yeah, this I, place I'm makes like, they don't have that. They make like cheddar cheese Kit Kats and shit. Like gross, weird stuff. Yeah, they have those at the I mean, <laughs> at the store. Let's order. Let's order. Yeah, <laughs> but they really have it at the store in south of Houston. Yeah, the crazy Kit Kat flavors from from China and Japan. We gotta go there. Yeah, we was- doing? wasabi Kit Kat. Wasabi, yes, they had that there. We gotta go. Ooh, we gotta yeah. go pick some of these up. We should go. Oh, just so you know, we just had a taste test for root beer pop tarts. What? Gross. The fuck? That, yes. You would think that. You would I think know. That. No, I no, stand no. by it. No, I don't. Is can I just guess? Yeah. Is the the black licorice in there somewhere? Stop it. The like on the outside of the pop tart, yeah. Is it more like a chocolatey, or is it like the the cover, the the the, the bun of the pop tart yes. is darker? Okay, it is that's dark. what they always do. That yeah, the crust. Uh, yeah, you think it was terrible, but then you eat it and you realize Jay's right. It's terrible. It's yeah, really yeah, not good. It doesn't go well at all. It's got to be a horrible idea. Why though? Remember those little Coca Cola candies where there were little tiny Coke bottles and yes. little Sprite bottles? That's, that's all real. sweet. I mm-hmm. thought. 
That's gross, too. No, it's not. What? No, those are good, good, man. A little Coke bottle? Gummy so you Coke? take that back or I'll suck your dick. <laughs> wait, wait, I did that wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not your Just wait to that. Hang on. Um, Ari's an expert in candy. Ari's an expert in several things. And we have waiting for 45 minutes on the phone, Ari, is uh, Amanita from California. Uh, wait, are we not ordering the candy? Yeah, we are going to order candy. Okay, We're going to but... order cooler stuff than candy, though, like how to draw Japanese anime. We're making the intern give us the Comedy Central. There's a thing. Card. There's a, but like the secret is drawn upside down. Yeah. There's, there's a thing to. It's there's all there's a thing where it teaches you how to draw a girl who has a pussy for a hand. It's a ta- how to draw kit. Really? No, that's just you a come sex in, toy. Oh. Could you oh, come what? in a pussy hand? If a girl had a pussy on her hand, could you come in it? Oh, I'm sorry. I was picturing a hand coming out of a pussy. No, I mean like no. a, a pussy in a hand. Like right here. No, if a girl's Ari, like, think more existential. Yes, right, right, thank right. you. Sorry. Yeah, you're um, a mushroom guy. Come yeah, I, on. Could, I could come in it. I, I jerked off to a, uh, to Mariano Rivera closing out a game once. But you did it while it was on, not to hit the feet of him closing it out. While you it was happening. Yeah, you were jerking off... Coming to something else, you weren't coming up to him going three up, three down. Oh no, no, I was. I was with my friends at the La Jolla Comedy Store, and I was like, "Let me freak you." I was like, "Oh yeah, I love when you close out games." And I was, I already worked it up pretty close ahead of time, and then I like the last like twenty seconds ended up lasting about you two minutes. You came in and finished. Yeah, okay. on your friends. Yeah, as he was right before he finished. On right them? before he no, on, a, on a saucer. <laughs> when, a saucer. At La Jolla when Comedy you Store, heard, kinda. when you heard, Enter Sandman, Sandman. Yeah, is that when you started? That's when I. Yeah, I was. I was. That's when I was yeah, that's when I started. I when you heard, a little bit, like, when you heard him walk out. out of, yeah, you heard yeah. him walk out of the bullpen. Yeah, and you heard this. It's time. And like coming out of the bullpen, <laughs> number forty-two for the New York Yankees, easily one of the greatest closers of all time. And if you're Ari Shafir, I hope you're ready to come. <laughs> it's Mariano Rivera. Down in the bullpen, edging as we speak. <laughs> Ari Shafir. <laughs> That's going to be. You know, I told. Uh, oh, you still got the stadium. <laughs> uh, hey, I told Joe Rogan. I told Joe Rogan about Ari shitting in a box for my birthday present last week. It's a great birthday present. Thank you. By the way, at the stand. Hilarious birthday am present. At the stand, sure. am, am at the stand goes, he was like five feet away from me and I didn't even know. <laughs> like I betrayed her. Like I was Who a child was listening? He traveled it. with it. Uh, like Adele, uh, like Adele, uh, Adele put her ear to it. He's like, can I hear it? I'm laughing. She goes, why are you laughing that hard? That wasn't that funny. <laughs> I was like, nah, I hear don't it? worry about it. <laughs> she, uh, I'm so blown away still that no one really knows. But here's one thing I got to say that Joe Rogan nailed it on Ari. Cause I, I told him that story. He started laughing so hard. And Ari, one of my dearest, closest friends, um, in the years we've known each other, I, I really, I, I think he's a great, amazing, awesome person. But the word Joe Rogan used is right. Many people pretend to be, except Ari is actually... A savage. He's a savage. <laughs> it's a great word for it. He will go for it. He will, and he does it in a way where if Ari jerked off on my shirt, I'm telling you it's something that would make me like want to punch. I would, that would make me mad. I, I would even kill a, someone's entire even family. A, even as a joke, but if yeah. Ari did it somehow, there's still some things just going kind of like, oh, Jesus Christ, Ari, you animal. It's I feel, I feel it, like he it, doesn't it, know better. It's, Ar, it's like Ari customs. <laughs> yeah. like, actually, that's a sign that he trusts you. It's like the <laughs> Italian burp, shits. right? Yeah. The burp is, is a compliment. Yeah. Really, when say. he shits in his hand and throws <laughs> it at you, he means he's close to you. Yeah, the next day I got uh, uh, Sean Patton, this uh, spice from uh, New Orleans, the only maker on there. <laughs> And he was like opening it. He goes, "Is this shit?" I'm like, "No, we're not. This, we're not as close as we're shit. It's just a regular present." Yeah, that's how you know when Ari gets the closest. We're acquaintances. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I actually got you a nice gift. You're like, "Oh," and you're like, "You're lucky if I shit in something. <laughs> if I shit in something, I'm looking out for you in the world." Yeah, you, I really care about you. What were you saying too? Like it was sitting there the whole time. <laughs> I love that's the point about it. the whole time. Ari traveled with it. You got him. Did you put it next to you sort? on a, in a cab? Did you put it next to between me and Joe Herrera? Oh, so great. And Did he had Joe no know? idea. Joe didn't know. Nobody, Nobody knew. knew. They Nobody all knew. thought it was the new Avenged Sevenfold CD. They all thought that. <laughs> and I maintained that I, I would give it a listen because the guy at the record store seemed pretty cl- confident that that's what it was. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it's my record player or the seat or, or the record itself. But it's not playing. It's all mushed up. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, the needle's just sort of tearing through it. You just hear the crackling of it, but it's just running on shit. Dude, it I was did, thinking about The later. needle's tearing through it, but it is hooking on a couple pieces of spinach. <laughs> is that part of the CD? I was or? thinking about later that if I got robbed in the subway and somebody took it, I'd be like, no, no, stop. But then I'd be like, well, all right. Oh, I'm, so great. I'm not going to see this pay off, but when they break that open, 
<laughs> they're going to get a rude and, awakening. And if you don't know, on the pod, on uh, Big J's birthday uh, episode of Legion of Skanks is where Ari Shafir got Jay a very um, unique birthday present. Episode oh. 287. Yeah, gasdigital.com. Well, yeah. I mean, check it out. It is, uh, it's very, very funny. And if you, and if you, you get a good glimpse, <laughs> we can post from here the video of Ari, how much he enjoyed it. <laughs> I, by the, by, I love the. By the, way, by the way, he's. Oh, you see in the video. First of all, you see in the by video. The way, so cool is Mickey Gall. Mickey Gall. Good luck. Beat up Sage Northcutt. Fuck yeah, he's he's fighting Sage Northcutt he this weekend coming up. But he could, he tapped out. Of course he did. <laughs> he loved it, though, but he loved the idea. But here's what I just want to explain. And this video was so great. Is it, we were. <laughs> Dude. So great. We were at that, the that, at that the room bo- was full, and what you see here is the aftermath of Ari by himself. I'm in disbelief. Mickey Gall has the balls to go in and close the box, and Ari just alone enjoying himself. Uh, Becky Owen was at there that night. I was sick because I went home after the bonfire. But he said when he walked home, he goes. It was funny, and then the box opened, and the smell started hitting everyone, <laughs> and it wasn't funny. The smell hit when you cracked it. slightly cracked the box. Yeah. I never opened. I never saw the, Ari open the box. Eventually, I only cracked it, <laughs> and I cracked How it. How quick did you learn it was shit? <laughs> Five minutes before I opened it, I don't know how nobody else understood that this was going to be a pile of shit. You knew it was going to be a pile. Of shit. I'm you reading. An, I'm was... reading. I knew for sure. I'm reading an article, or not an article. I'm sorry. I'm reading a card already made to me. Who goes? I know you love Avenged Sevenfold, and then I do explain to the audience from that first. Line. It actually worked out perfect. The writing actually. You, you complain we should have done it at the end, but it actually worked out perfect. He goes, "Hey, I know you're a huge Avenged Sevenfold fan," and I explain to the audience before I even read on. I go, well, I, go, I should explain that Ari knows that I like I not just one, I, I like some heavy metal music, mm-hmm. so he assumes for whatever reason that I that I really love Avenged Sevenfold, which is not the case. I don't love Avenged Sevenfold, but he loves using, that's like the name he loves to use for it's a shitty... It's the toolboxiest name for yeah. a fucking metal group. That... So I go, and I'm not a huge fan of theirs, but Ari believes I am. All right, so moving on. And the next line goes, but seriously though... I know you at least sort of like them, and I go, I, it's fair. I do. I do sort of like them. I, I don't. I don't. I don't hate them. I'm yeah. just not a fan. Yeah, it's not your favorite band. Um, he goes. So I was able to pull some strings and get an advanced copy of their new CD. <laughs> Literally before that sentence was over is when I knew it was a box. Of That's shit. where it all clicked. That's where it all came into perspective. So if I just gave you the box, if I was like, here's your birthday present, you wouldn't have thought shit. No. Yeah. Well. I, it wouldn't have been my first thought, but I would go, it's, this is possibly surprise. a box of shit. Maybe Here, worms that jump out. Here's my question. If he ever hands you a box again, will you not not think it's shit? Sure. I don't think he's not, or he's not a hack. He's not going to repeat himself. Yeah, I, I would say that before you bring me to it. You try something once, it's done. Yeah, no, I would say... Here's so the thing. is shit going to come in another form? It's possible. Po- yeah, who knows? That finger might be? Something yeah, like yeah, that. like a human thing. I, I said when I thought if I saw a, lock, a way to ramp it up. If I saw a lock, if I saw <laughs> a lockbox, you're missing. <laughs> if it makes sense if I saw a lockbox. I would have thought again. Maybe I wouldn't have just said it, it's shit, a box of shit. But if you gave me like ten guesses, shit would have been there. Also, would have been there is like you know like some kind of like a dildo and like a baby doll's pussy mm-hmm. or just something like uh, just something like grotesque and like to shock the fucking room, which was great. I wish I found a better smell proof box. Than that one. Really? So. Because that one was great. Oh, no, no. The smell, pr- I have no problems with the smell proof. By the way, go to Home Depot for your smell proof yeah. shit boxes. <laughs> I mean, no shit. It, it was, no pun intended, it was, there was no smell. It was great. It was nothing until the box opened. And the, but I mean, the second it cracked, it just filled the room. It I, knocked it. It smelled like, I, shit wasn't even the word. It smelled like the sweat. It smelled like sweaty something. It was so bad. I really compare it to when Scooby Doo yells into a bottle and then corks it, and then as soon as that cork comes out, yeah, the yell is great. like itching to get out. Same and the same volume that you put it in there with, but now it's been you, out of water, just living on its own. Do yeah. you think uh, yeah. Kit Kat can make it a flavor? Yes. <laughs> Ari shit, kale shit, kale shit. Quit. You know what? Absolutely, they could. Yeah. I asked Ari, too. I go, did you know it was going to smell like that? And he goes, no, but I hoped. <laughs> I mean, he's so happy in that video, and that's what makes me happy about it. I watched it before. My birthday I... present, actually, was Ari is, Ari, is how much he enjoyed it. Because, I mean, the room just cleared. And then when they had to crack the door in the room, 
<laughs> it, cl- it almost cleared out the bar. The bar got Chase, it bad. Michael Chase said he was in the bar, and he goes, no, I didn't see it. But all of a sudden, I was like, what's that smell? And I saw everyone running at me. <laughs> and <I was> like, <laughs> Dude, that's great. You, you did a Godzilla shit. <laughs> and it's one of those ones, that, it's one of those smells that gets in your memory. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where you think you smell it again a little later, but yeah. you're just remembering like, the that smell? Can't be. You yeah. smell your fingers like, I guess not. Yeah, Maybe. I guess not. That's amazing that you're They took it out like toxic it. waste, and we thought they were going to just dispose of it somewhere. They just put it out front. I am a little sorry that uh, Gomez wasn't there for that. He loved it. He would have loved it. And I was afraid that he would have put put it on me. Oh, like kick the box on you? Yeah. Yeah, he's that. That's... You knew we no one in that room was someone who was going to put it on you? No. Yeah. No. Sal, you, Volk, uh, Volk, uh, Bennington. Sal. Yeah, nobody. Sal, Dave. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're not the guys to do that. Maybe Lewis if anyone? absolutely the guy. To oh, do that. Lewis for sure. If anybody, it would be Mickey Gall. To be honest, he'd probably be the most likely to do that. Maybe, not that he would be likely, but uh, if I had to bet on anyone, the most likely, yeah, because yeah. he because he might maybe he got a little angry at it. Open up the box again. Did you do a poll yet on the on the, the drawing? drawing? Hmm? Did you put a poll on it where people can actually vote? Yeah, we got about fourteen minutes left of the the oh, contest. Polls, polls close in fourteen minutes. Polls closing soon, ladies and gentlemen. On the on the bonfire drawing. Um, a ma- Does anybody want this Jason. oil for weed? What? It, no, I can't. Tincture. Tincture. No, thank you. Yeah. Thank you though for offering. Yeah. Zach does. <laughs> that's how you. Right, one, that's two. how you pull down the intern. Oh, Lou's going yeah. to a Christmas party oh, too. Oh, Lou's gonna use that. He's gonna be dosing bitches. Yeah. yeah. He's like, do you feel hungry and like you want to snuggle? No, no. You just put it under your yeah, tongue, I think baby. I think it's tincture for for your tongue. You want to put it under your tongue? Come back and listen to some jam. <laughs> some PJ. Someone want to do some PJ. Vi- you want to do some Vitology? <laughs> Didn't you also say you found Pro Jam to be overrated? Boring, man. <gasps> yeah, I told it to Joe Les. He was like, "You're crazy. You're out of your mind, crazy." And I was like, "I don't know, man. I saw. Oh, you were there. Yeah, we saw some together." Room. But we saw a ba- another band destroy the LCD sound system. Yeah, a night just before, fucking ripped it. Where, and I was on. I mean, I was on more drugs during Pearl Jam. I thought Pearl Jam was great, but I was also. I thought they were good, but it wasn't like I was also flying. Yeah. Or you told me they uh, he gave too many speeches. He talked too much and didn't play enough. A lot music. of speeches and um, a lot of speeches. So the converted anyone at Bonnaroo is already like anti-Trump. There's no reason to say it. Yeah. Um. We have to give a thing about what I want this girl to get her phone call. She's waiting for Ari. For oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm emancipated. Um, uh, Amanita from oh, California. Uh, I want to say she's named after a mushroom. wanted to ask you something about mushrooms. Amanita, are you there? Are we saying your name right? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Yay. <laughs> Ari is the amazing racist. Huh? Ari, How are you? Uh, just been your stuff for a long time. He's good shit. Um... This is okay. Uh, already, can I critique your intro? Too long. I would pull it back about eighty percent. She's nervous. She likes you. All right, I get it. Go. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to, mean to face you. No, actually, I like Dan Soder, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a I just took my shirt off. <laughs> well, do you know what I'm gonna me? Do I know what it means? I know what Amanita Mascara uh, is. That's, that's, Does it mean a little woman man? A man eater? No, it's, it's, it's my Santa Claus is red and white, my hang ornaments on Christmas trees. Um, the Eucharistic substance of the uh, yogis. Oh, right. Um, but uh, <laughs> also, a red, uh, toadstool with white polka dots, you know, and Mario Brothers and every casino. Yeah, that's how it is. Dan, do me a favor. Dan, look right here on this piece of paper. Was that not my third guess? Is that what her name means? It's exactly what he wrote. I said the exact word you just said. Word. My third guess. For word. Have you taken mushrooms before? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm on them right now. And Manita, you have a question about mushrooms. Ask it. (laughs) Well, I can tell you about the mythology anyway. Please do not teach about mythology. Inside, this is all stuff to take to the higher ups. <laughs> <laughs> Pull this clip. What's uh, your question? You have a question. You said you wanted to ask Ari about mushrooms. Something about them. Um. Um. Actually. Uh. Well, no, my question wasn't really for Ari, but um. But anyway, I'm just kind of stuck. Amanita. Hey. <laughs> Send Dan dirty pictures at the bonfire. 
at Syria. If you, if these are the phone calls that come send in, send the question. We got to say your penance is you have to send some nudity at the bon, uh, to I, the bonfire at SiriusXM.com. Dan is asking firsthand through me. No, I'm asking for the question. The question you were going to ask. It's not going to happen, Dan. He just emailed. Just so you know, I'm in, uh, Howard Stern was about to make his first appearance in the show, and uh, <laughs> he said I couldn't wait any longer, and then left. He said, I'll do it right after this question, and oh, then he was like, I, I can't, I can't. That would have been such a big get, too. It would have been huge. All right, well, it was nice talking to you. T -t Today, Junior? <laughs> Joan. Sometimes they take way too long to get to it. And you just want to be I like, was, you know what? It's five. nerves. It's you, nerves. Know what, you know what it was? We were we were too comfortable because our callers earlier about Japanese candy were all fucking jacked up on sugar and they, they were letting right. fly. Uh, uh, they were right. watch, watch how this guy gets to it. Hey, Jason in Green Bay, what do you want to talk about? Japanese crepes. He's like, actually, He's I jumping right in. Jason, you there? First off, I wanted to say that uh, I'm a huge fan of the show. I've been listening since the beginning, and I'm a huge fan of all three of you guys' comedy. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. And uh, Don't the it. Japanese yep. crates have yes. like an assortment of different snack foods from Japan. Mm -hmm. And what uh, my girlfriend gets them, they're like thirty dollars a month for a, a subscription or some shit. To them. crazy Japanese things. And, yeah, it's like Japanese chips, Japanese candy, stuff like that. But what Ari was saying about it all being like uh, past the expiration date and shit kind of makes sense because like some of their stuff tastes like really stale. Oh, yeah. Like I've had the uh, green tea uh, Kit, Kit Kats. Kats before. Yeah. And I thought they tasted horrible. Also, green tea is not a flavor you expect in a Kit Kat. I don't know if that's no. fresh. You would yeah, really not at that. all. I wouldn't like that, yeah. Sweet corn, perhaps. Hey, uh, Dylan, um, I know that's not your name, but something like that. It's Jason. Jason, how much better do you think you were as a caller than Amanita? A scale of 1 to 10. How much better do I think I am a caller than her? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd say probably 20. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you were gonna say. That is a good answer, Jason. Uh, what's the? Is there a website to find this? Is that like Loot Crate, but for weird Japanese candies? Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what it is. What's the website? Um, I didn't get a website from my girlfriend, but uh, all I know is that they're called Japan Crate. Japan got to be JapanCrate dot com. Crate. Oh, I did say crepes. It's, I thought at first he was saying crepes. Yeah, me too. Japan Crate. We're gonna check that out, Jason. Thank you so much for calling. Thanks. Keep listening. And thank you for being a fan of all three of our stand-up comedies, my friend. Nice. Uh, we're going to take our last break. I like when people say I was a fan of you from the beginning. It's like, what does that mean? you got to yeah. wait another two years before we start saying that. 1999? <laughs> yeah. You were going to a black comedy club in Philadelphia? All right, weirdo. <laughs> uh, everyone, we're going to take our last break here and try to do weird, molesty, sexual things to Zach. It's his last day. It's the bonfire. What? Now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Everybody have fun tonight, Jacob. Everybody have fun tonight. It's the white part. Everybody wang chung tonight, Jacob. Everybody wang chung tonight. <laughs> Perfect. Everybody wang chung. I like how I won't lean into the mic and he talks softer. Everybody wang chung. I would I would said Christine, but this is. 25 years before she gave a shit about music. Um, we are back, everybody. The Bonfire, Comedy Center Radio, Series XM, 95. Big Jokers and Dan Soder. Ari Shafir sitting in with us. I want to say real Remember quick. Remember when Wang Chun killed his son? Oh, oh God. God. Um, me and Dan are going to be doing a podcast uh, with Julian McCullough. Julian loves music. If you live in New York City or the tri-state area, this Sunday at uh, the Village Underground, Underground yes, you, cool. can, you can catch uh, Julian Loves Music. Can you unhighlight it, Christina? Yeah, Cage. it's hard to see when you do that. Uh, Thanks for not fucking it up anymore. I appreciate thanks. that. That's Get awesome. tickets at ComedyCellar.com, but it's a 4 p.m. show, so you can come on out. It's in the afternoon. It's not going to fuck your whole night up, and it's going to be a lot of fun, man. Julian Loves Music. Me and Dan both are going to be on it. Again, Todd Berry. This and Sunday. It's uh, hosted by Julian McCullough. It's fucking hilarious. 4 p.m. Get your tickets at ComedyCellar.com. Also want to remind you, the Ohio campers, you can catch our buddy Mike Vecchione this weekend, December 16th and, 16th and 17th at Moho's Comedy Club in Mojo's Comedy Club. I, I went to Hispanic's pronunciation. Yeah, Moho. At, uh, at Mojo's Comedy Club in Youngstown, Ohio. 
Ohio. Yeah, definitely and, go check it out. If you're in the Youngstown area, definitely go check out Mike Vecchione at Mojo's Comedy Club. Because we love yeah, it. and Everybody there's also two hilarious. two more episodes uh, in the season of Ari Shafir's This is Not Happening on Comedy Central. December 17th, Tom Papa, Steve Simone, and Gaster Almonte tell stories about their no, families. No, no, Who said December 17th? Uh, I don't know. No, it's 15th. Yeah, tomorrow. Night. Oh, you're right. It's Thursday nights. Yeah, you're right. You're so right, dude. It's you're so right. It's like it's well, your the second show. one's good. That's December fifteenth. <laughs> Tom Papa, Steve Simone, Gaster Almonte tell stories about their families, and then on the season finale, December twenty second, which that date is right. <laughs> comics: uh, Ali Sadiq, Greg Fitzsimmons, Joey Diaz open up about the most rageful moments of their lives. You can also hear Ari Friday at five thirty p.m. when he takes over Comedy Central Radio, and uh, also one of the coolest. I want to plug to one of the coolest. Things in comedy in New York City. If you're here to go fucking look at a tree, or because you've never seen lights in your life, yeah. Um, Dave Attell does his week uh, between the, right the day after Christmas to the day before New Year's Eve. Yeah, at, at Caroline's. Go see Dave Attell. What does he do? He, he headlines. He yeah. headlines Caroline's. two shows a night from 26th to the 30th. It is. I used to do it with him every year. Really? I look so forward to it. It's just the most fun time. The shows are sold out, and it's just a party at. It just feels great. Oh, cool. it's, it's so fun to be it's a great part to watch. Just to tell, go check that out. Rip it for an hour. Um, he believes there's not going to ever sell tickets, even though it's probably already close to sold out. But get your tickets if there are available. And finally, uh, our biggest condolences to the Thick family. For losing out. Dr. Thick. Jason Seaver. Dr. Jason Seaver. Down. So he didn't want to be in a country where Trump was a president. He so didn't say that at all. That. He, he died of a heart attack. His <laughs> note next to his bed said, uh, please bury me next to... I actually heard his note check. said, show me that smile. Ooh, yeah. show me that smile. Don't make a waste of minute. minute on your crying. crying. We're nowhere near the nowhere end. near the, the best is ready to begin. Ooh. As long as we got each other, we got the world sipping right in our hands, baby. Rain or shine, all the time, we got each other. Sharing the laughter, sharing the laughter, sharing the laughter, sharing the laughter, the laughter and love. Rest in peace, you sweet angel. Sweet angel. Sweet, sweet. Oh, God. Now there was a burn victim black girl on the TV. It's freaking me the fuck out. You opened your eyes to that? Oh! Ah! Oh, that's hey, just a regular Asian. That's just regular Asian girl. Uh, no! A hey. half black! Ah! Uh, that kid pointed at me! Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh... <laughs> I know I'm, it's completely into these kids now. Oh, well, what, is that Saint? Oh, it's Shriners. The, love Shriners. It's not, it's not Saint Jude. I I donate to Saint Jude. To I have to late dude. at night. Yeah, you can't not. Uh, if you don't do it, you're a piece of shit. You mean at the grocery store when they're like, do you want to donate to Saint Jude? I never do that. I mean, that goes nowhere. But I call the number. I'll do it. I tell them not only no, tell the other aisles that I said no. Tell everyone no. I said no. Yeah. Uh, can you put me on the phone with one of those sick kids? Thin out the herd. Thin out. Not the herd. Um, my uh, question is, how are we doing on that drawing? Uh, can I tell you why I think the one is you All and right, the one so is we, you? At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, we put up some drawings uh, that Jay and I did. It's our doodles. It's the doodle that we do. And our main doodle dude. Yeah. Our main doodle. And we're going to see who liked which doodle, and we're going to hear what Ari Shafir, who Ari Shafir thought did what doodle. I think they're both tremendous. Let me tell you, great job. Uh, thank, uh, you. Trying, thank you. Trying, exploring your creativity is a wonderful thing to do. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I think the one with the brain opened up. Yes, that's the one on the left. That's the one on the left. And then you have the one uh, with the button-down shirt with the guy holding a gun. I yes. baseball cap is one on the right. Mm -hmm. I believe that the one on the right yes. with the button-down shirt is Soder. And, and why? only because... I don't think Jay has a concept of what it would look like for someone to wear a button-down shirt. Or, Ari, yeah? is it maybe because I've never been as thin as the guy in that drawing and where I felt comfortable wearing a button-down shirt, that I draw what I wish I was. Because oh. if you notice, that guy's also got earrings, cool Yo, little chin beard, that, huh? looks sick in a hat and is carrying a fucking gun. Gat. You got a gat? You got a fucking, yeah. Well, I don't know which one's which. I will tell you the one with the brain open is my favorite. No, that just hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if America agrees with you, Ari Shafir. <laughs> so you're not you're not that one, Christine. No. What do you think it is? What is it? I'm, I'm just still telling numbers right now because I only I had to do it by hand for Instagram and Facebook. By oh, hand, you know, what are the fucking seventeen this? votes. Relax, lady. Well, you're not getting a break. While we have a second here, I'll just do this very very quickly because somebody some fucking jagoff had the ball bag. 
to uh, find my daughter on Instagram. No way. A fan, or, you know, whatever, somebody who... Not a fan. Not a fan, but someone who knows my shit. Um, Justin Lee 360 on Instagram. He just made everything private, because I actually wrote back to him. How I didn't write back, like, a fucking aggressive thing. I was just kind of, I go, this guy's got kids and a wife. And he tagged my daughter to go, man, you are an ugly cunt, like, on my Instagram. Tagged her and put in a... To a 14-year-old girl. 14-year-old girl. Married man. Grown man. If you're enough of a fucking queef, pansy jerk-off to do something like that to a 14-year-old girl, and you want to say something like that about my daughter, I travel all over this country. Find me and fight me, and I will bite your fucking cheek off. Especially you, Justin Lee, right in front of your fucking Down Syndrome Eskimo-looking wife. <laughs> and all your fucking retard kids. By all means, bring them out to Portland when I'll be there in January. That's a good plug. And I'll fucking kick them right into your stupid fucking face. No probs. I mean, that's anyway, just, the drawing fact, tally. The I, guy, I, I would say that it's going to be a problem to aim that kick so that you actually kick them into his face. You're right. You know what? I'm going to leave your kids alone. They've got enough troubles. You're their fucking jag-off father. It's but just I crazy. will be in Portland in January, so if you ever have something you want to say about my daughter, save it and just find me. I like mean, an adult I'm, man. Like I'm an on, adult man. I'm Justin on. Lee 360. If you can get a hold of him on Instagram, uh, campers, have at it. Justin Lee 360. Release the hounds. But it really is one of those things where you always think about trolls and you're like, oh, is that, like, they're not like real people with families and shit. Like, every, the, the thing is, the stereotype is they're always like these sad people in their, in their parents' basement, but they're not. Yeah. They're normal people with family and kids. And sometimes they write things like calling a 14 year old girl the daughter of a comedian an ugly cunt. You have to be such a piece of shit inside to yeah. go and do that. Do you understand? And this goes right to this fucking prick who did that. Do you understand? Understand that we fucking spend our lives not trying to antagonize anybody, you fucking moron, but to entertain you. And the fact that you would go and research someone's fucking daughter, and I hope you listen to this, you're a piece of shit. I hope you never find joy. I hope you find whatever fucking sadness fills you. To the fact that you would involve a fucking girl into this is just a fucking disgusting thing. And yeah, I am fucking mad about it because it's my friend, and it's also my friend's daughter who I fucking know. And the fact that you would do that just shows me that you're just a fucking loser. Yeah, I, it's not I, even I, hard. There's no second level to I, it. There's I no know. second level. You're just a sackless and cunt. I wrote, and I wrote. And back. I hope you get hit in the. I hope you get hit by a fucking semi, and then your dead body gets fucking raped by raccoons. Yeah, I thought you about. Piece I thought of about saying. I thought about saying something about his kids. I'm like, but then I'm the asshole. Yeah, don't this, go after his kids. Don't go after nothing, his wife. It's got nothing to do with his He's kids. He's a fucking cunt. He is a cunt, but uh, Damn, I'll go after his wife I just, too. I just got fucking fired. I'll go after his wife too. But uh, either way, he made. I wrote all I wrote to him on his Instagram was under a picture of his kids, and I go. I didn't say anything about his kids. I just go. You have children, and you a cyber bully. If my daughter called me at like midnight one night, like, and and just that's said, traumatic for her. Uh, she said to me, she goes, Dad, someone like one of your like fans or something like tagged me on under one of your pictures and said, uh, and you saw it, you saw, and the then tag. I went and saw it. I, I, I erased it today, but th I wrote to him. I go, I go, you gonna cyber bully a fourteen year old? And you have children? I go, what kind of fucking pussy does that? And hey, by listen, the way, man, if you don't by the way, he spelled he spelled your wrong. He wrote your, oh, and yeah. kind of like Y O U R, which is hilarious. But I go, uh, but that's also I, great that he's dumb. Yeah, I go. I go, you all spelled your wrong, fuckhead. And then, uh, that's all I wrote. And then he made his entire fucking, now his whole thing's private. So listen, I don't know if anybody out there can figure it out. It's listen, Justin man, Lee 360. Justin Lee 360. Because now he's like, oh, shit, I don't want him fucking with my family. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Of course. If you don't like what we do, man, I just fucking move on. What's, what is this fucking culture where everything's got to be tailored for you? If you don't like what the fuck we do, do, you have options. This isn't fucking three channel TV like it was in the 60s. There's this is so fucking. So many options. So many options. Go listen to what you if you don't like it move on it's the Why? evils it's what sucks about social media it really does everything i've ever put out on social media is to entertain and make people laugh or, or just inform whatever if i'm going to be somewhere when it comes back ever it's like you're a fat loser piece of shit who blah blah. You're just like, why do I? Why am I in a world where I'm so touchable like this? Yeah. You gotta understand sucks. that this guy, yeah. that guy, and and this is like, you know, I got my anger piece out, but this guy doing that, that's not. That's all him, man. That's like some psychological shit in his head yeah. that he thinks he's angry at his life to the fact that he'll go and do that, and he might be like, no, I just fucking don't like Jared. I just want. To. That's not the truth, though. The truth is, is whatever's inside him that bothers him the most about himself, he went out and fucking took it out on your yeah, daughter. There's, there's a lot of things. You you can't. You cannot like. I don't like 
those green tea Kit Kats. Yeah, you know, I write to do. them and try to like fuck with their family. Of the people who <laughs> yeah, you don't try, you, you don't try to ruin the, the life. Of, yeah, you don't try to ruin the life of the people who made them or like yeah. make and somebody you, sad about. It. Hey, hey, Fatso, your dad makes fucking green tea Kit Kats. Hey, I'm, well, look, and I have trouble finishing it. I do it, but I have trouble, and then I move on. Yeah, life. it just. It's, I think that's what it is with with social media that all these people feel like they you have to be represented, but they have the right to yeah. like. It's the same way like when people criticize comic book movies and they're like. I just didn't like this, this, and this, and this. I remember when Batman vs. Superman came out, everyone's like, it sucks. It did. You're like, hey, dude, how about the fact that they just made a Batman vs. Superman movie? That's something I've yeah. wanted since I was six. If you don't like it, yeah. hey, sorry you didn't like it. They tried. The interesting thing is my daughter's a ball buster, but it's like to hear her call, she's like, she almost talks completely in like sarcasm and oh, like yeah. busting my ball. I'm pretty sure she doesn't like me. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> like you very much. Um, she uh, she's like such a ball buster, and then her, but her response. When she called. She was so like, Dad, someone on your thing. She's like, a fourteen year old girl. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I go, I go, block the guy. But, uh, but this goes, is the fact that to go through that. I'm like, she's a little girl, and like, like it's such like a fucking. At the end of the day, she's a kid, man. She's fourteen. Yeah. That's just where it's like, dude, you're not a fighter. What a scumbag, dude. I'll yeah. fight that guy. I hope he shows up to Portland. I'll be there in January. I'll fight you. No motherfucker. Yeah. Your bitch. Oh. Nothing gets me ramped up to find out a poll online. I'm not fucking this guy's bitch. She has some kind of Eskimo diseases. Scurvy. This old shit that still comes back. <laughs> I think they haven't cured polio there yet. I just want to say, as corporate Dan, I want to step in and say the Eskimos, the Inuits are great people. <laughs> yeah, but Always not the Eskimos. Right, not the Wait, are they doing anything? Yeah. Um, what's going on with our poll? All right, so I totaled everything, and we have 3% neutral. 3% neutral? People voted for neutral. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. yeah, what? Did you make that? That was not on the Twitter poll. That was like Instagram, Facebook comics. Okay. 39% Dan, 58% Jay. Dan was left, Jay was right. J hey, Jay, I just uh, want to say, I really liked your drawing. I liked your drawing, too, actually. The more I looked at it, I would, ha I would have your don't drawing. Don't show me your crazy numbers. I don't even believe it. I would have You're your a pollster for the for Jay. I'll be honest with you, for the record, I would have your drawing on a shirt. Thanks, bro. I think Russia hacked this election. Yeah, <laughs> I think you won because yeah. Now that you won, you should try to throw Dan in jail. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna be a special prosecutor for Dan yeah. Soder. Um, that's Ari Shafir, and again, you can catch two more episodes uh, in the seasons. Ari Shafir's isn't that happening? Comedy Central, December fifteenth, December twenty second. So many great comics still are going. Steve Simone, Tom Papa, Gaster Amante, Ali Sadiq, Greg Fitzsimmons, Joey Diaz is gonna be fucking great. And you can also again listen to him Friday, five thirty p.m. when he takes over Comedy Central Radio. Uh, Dan's going to be, uh, well, now, this again, is going to be at Helium, yeah. Philadelphia. I'm going to be there the 29th through the 31st. That's New Year's Eve. You can go to dansoder.com for tickets. And if you're on the West Coast, check out Big Jay's going to be at American Comedy Company in San Diego, the Gaslight District, December 29th through December 31st, and then January 5th through the 7th at San Francisco Punchline, bigjaycomedy.com. Come out, West Coast. And then in between, I'll be in L.A. I'll be doing some stuff out in L.A. It's that fun. Ooh, ooh, me and Dan, ooh. me and Dan are going to be on Julian McCullough's podcast. Julian loves music. Village Underground in New York. City this Sunday, December 18th, 4 p.m. Get your tickets at ComedyCellar.com. you got to come to Punch Drunk when you're in L.A. I'll absolutely do. Well, I, I owe you guys. we got to put that ad up. Oh, yeah. Get I showed you the, the picture. Up. The picture was fantastic. Yeah, the right? picture's great. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a great up. one. We'll I'm going to get, get a lot of love off that picture, I bet. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know. I got it. I lost the. Th I forget what did I say. The Cubs wouldn't Cubs win the World Series. Win. Yeah, took yeah. Field I, I took that on kind of on a complete like <laughs> sure. I mean, but it was like the beginning of baseball season. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't know anything about baseball. I'm like, sure, the Cubs won't win. I'll make that any one. other team, but the Cubs win, and you sure. win. Cubs win. Yeah. So now what do you got, have to do? I got to place a, an ad in the back of a gay newspaper with a real picture, real phone number. <laughs> <laughs> I forget who said I wouldn't do it, but I'm like, no, I'll do that. Lewis funny. is like, I guarantee you he'll back off. Uh, I'll, back do it. Not do it. I'll do that. I think I that's funny. I cannot wait to frame it. That's funny. <laughs> They're going to be like, ooh, Papa Bear. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, ooh, I'm we, a seal. Are we, <laughs> this is a real thing, by the way. Are we not? We should not put that out to fans and just let's see what I get naturally. Don't, yeah, tell, yeah, yeah. don't tell them what publication we're putting it in yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Because if it's going to be fans, yeah, it's going to be forced. I think you're right. And then I have to change my number. But if you just make it where I have to knock out whoever's coming on this. Yeah. From this particular website or whatever, yeah. I'm gold. No, when we post a picture of what you did, we'll blur out the number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. Sounds great. All right, Shafir, we love <laughs> having you in here. Guys, enjoy you your really Christmas are. party. It's going to be rain and sniz in a few hours. Go get it. Yeah. I'm going troll hunting. Catch you guys on Monday. It's the bonfire.